Uh, I need to take a quick piss break. All right. Do something funny for the Patreon, man. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, welcome back to another episode of Trash Taste. Today, I'm joined by the boys, Scott and Joe, as usual. And today, a very special guest, the man, the myth, the legend, Mudan himself, the hey. editor. Hello. Uh, are, you, are you gonna put the little Mudan in? People don't know this, actually. I yeah, think the yeah. casual viewers don't know that you've put a mini Mudan in every single Trash Taste episode from which episode? I think from episode 18 onwards. There's a little bit of you and it's really hard to Fine. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like a Where's Waldo or Where's Wally of like People have found taste. some of them though. Oh yeah, yeah. I well, found some of them. After a while, I'm starting to make it a bit easier. So when people check, they'll find it easier. Then I hard, made it harder again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so our editor is visiting us here in Japan and uh, we thought let's just uh, get him on the podcast and expose him or let him expose us. I don't know I which it's way it's gonna be today. Well, I think it's definitely the him exposing us. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, so how have you found Japan? It's been better and also a bit worse than expected. Right. Wait, you is this your first time? Yeah, it's my first oh, time. Shit. Oh shit. So you're from Estonia. Uh, um, and so it's yeah. Yeah, first, time, first time in Asia, right? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. First time in Asia? Damn. I mean, I, when I left, it was 16 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So when I arrived here, it was like 34. Shit. Oh, like, oh it was shit. Hotter you got than, the tail end of the heat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. People said it was so much worse before. And I was like, what? Yeah, it was. <laughs> what do you mean? It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so basically, if you don't know, Mudan is basically the reason most of us here uh, exist. <laughs> Mudan's <laughs> the reason why Attitude exists, yeah. basically. <laughs> yeah, so Mudan, Mudan edits this podcast. Mudan also edits all of my, most of my channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah all of them. Yeah, Started yeah. off with all of them. Um, yeah, yeah. And then Joey's uh, my main, main channel, channel as well. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, how, who else do you edit for? Uh, Sydney, Aki. Um, <laughs> some people I don't know if I should mention. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, like 10 different people right now. Jeez. 10 different people? Oh, Pete people? as well now. Oh, Pete, oh, Pete? as well? Mm. Hell yeah. Damn. Basically, I think um, it's only to, my channels that are like yeah, yeah, pretty so much. free. To preface, this is not you doing this solo. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a very dedicated team behind me who are probably more talented than me. So how, yeah. so how many, so you kind of built like um, like your own, I guess like editing company, was it? Or like yeah. organization? Yeah, when the fuck did that start? Yeah, how I, did that happen? Yeah, cause I think I came in when you were just editing for Trash Taste. I was like, oh, Mudan's editing everything. Mm. Then he started editing for Connor and then you started editing for Sydney and then Connor launched a second channel. And I'm like, <laughs> how is Mudan keeping up with all this? When, yeah. uh, when did it happen? Yeah, so I wanted to do video editing as a full-time job mm. and mm -hmm. it took like a long time to get off. I was mm. do, like barely earning any money for the first two years. Mm. Yeah. But then suddenly, I guess through recommendations, people were like, oh, he's doing a good job. Let me recommend him to another person. Mm. And finally I had like three people, I think, you and Connor and somebody else. And it was like, sometimes it was easy because mm, yeah. it was like one video a week, mm. but sometimes you'd be like, oh, I'm going to America for a month. Here are four videos that need to be done. Right. And it would like accumulate together with you guys. Mm. So I was like, okay, I cannot keep on working 300 hours a month. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let me find somebody else. And thankfully uh, my first, <laughs> another editor was uh, Danny the editor. Mm. Uh, he, I found him through a mutual and pretty much it took like six months to teach him up. Mm. But he's like a right-hand man now, really talented. And uh, then like half a year later, both of us were doing 300 hour <laughs> work months. <laughs> <laughs> so That's how it works like that, huh? Yeah. yeah, and then I realized, okay, we need to keep on expanding. So right. now I have a huge team behind me. I think in Estonia, like in my own company, yeah. mm -hmm. I have Danny, I have Mudan, who's uh, my partner as well. Yeah, uh, There's another Mudan. Uh, Mudan. <laughs> it's so, you're, you're, so you're Mudan and there's also Mudam. Yeah. Okay. Is that like a female Mudan? Mudan. <laughs> Mudam. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, she actually it's, uh, does the trash taste uh, like uh, scene changes. Oh, oh okay. Okay. She's, okay. Uh, she's also a, Thank you. <laughs> she's also a professional camera operator in mm. Estonia, like right. does sports shoots and stuff. Oh, cool. So she has background in it. So how many people do you have now? like in your company? I have four who I've hired like in my company per yeah. se, which yep. means I pay like for their holidays for, for health and stuff. Right. And around 10 freelancers plus Jeez. minus four. God damn. That's cool See, that you've gone from just being solo to that. Yeah. It's yeah. so kind of crazy to, yeah. to have that kind of ambition. I think a lot of people would be like, oh, I'm, okay, this is, this is scary. Yeah. yeah, it is. 
<laughs> it is so horrible. Every day I wake up in sweat. I'm like, oh my God, is this the downfall today? Yeah, because I was gonna ask, uh, you are human, right? You. <laughs> I just I just want to check that you've not- you're You want to like, see if I bleed? <laughs> you're not like the T100? Like, well, you're, wearing, just, you're wearing a wristband yeah. that checks your vitals. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not too sure, to be honest. Yeah. Like, if you don't know, like Mudan or like you are the most efficient human being I've ever met in my life to the point where sometimes I questioned if you have not like pre-programmed yourself no. every morning to I, be <laughs> the most efficient thing you could I, be. I remember one one uh, time where I was like, yeah, this guy's not human. It was uh, It was AX a few years ago where you were there and we were just chilling out in the hotel room um, or the, the hotel lobby or something. Yeah. And we were just like chatting and all that kind of stuff. And then just like, as this conversation is going between Mudan and myself and like a couple of other people, Mudan just like pulls his phone out and just starts like doing something. And I thought you were like playing a game and I looked over and you had mirrored your computer back at home onto your mobile and you were editing a video on your phone. Yeah, I think it was because Trash Chase, like Melee needed uh, the outro cinematic to be like longer or something. Yeah. And it had to be done within half an hour. <laughs> you were just doing it on your phone. <laughs> How <laughs> like, is it even possible? This guy's not human. <laughs> it takes a while. It's like 10 times longer on the phone, but it's- Yeah, yeah. yeah. no yeah. shit, it's 10 times longer. Yeah. yeah. So like, I, I want to ask, what is your advice for like efficiency hack? How how does-, how, how, does how, do you, how did you min max your life? Yeah, how do you min max your life as much um, as possible? Addiction. Just be addicted to one thing, do it. Just stick to that. That's the only explanation. I think a lot of a lot of the times when um, uh, people have, uh, well, YouTubers and they work with editors, it's kind of like this honeymoon period where it's really fun and mm -hmm. it's exciting to edit for, yeah. with, for new, someone new. And then it kind of, you know, becomes a lot more like, okay, there's a deadline. Can we make sure we meet it? And it becomes like that. But I guess, yeah, you're, it's never been like that for you, which yeah, is very like, strange. So how did you, I guess that's one thing I've always wanted to ask you is like, how did you get into like video editing? Like where, where does that passion come from? Well, uh, I don't know how about a lot of people, but pretty much until I was like 17, 16, mm. I had no ambition in life. Mm. Like I didn't know what <laughs> I wanted too, to do me in too. life. Yeah, you me just too. described every teenager. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. People ask you, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? You're like, uh, IT worker, I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but well, when I was 13, I was really like panic mode. Looked around my room, like what, like, what should my purpose in life be? Show my PSP. I uh, saw my PSP collection was like, I'm going to collect all of them. Okay. And that was for <laughs> the next purpose. five That's years. That was my life's purpose. Right. And then I think in high school, they had like um, uh, cameras at school mm. Mm -hmm. and I borrowed them for like, uh, ex no, actually just before that year, I decided to do like um, a stop motion Tetris in with chocolate for some reason. <laughs> right. I don't know why. <laughs> That's kind of cute. cute. That's cute. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Cause, uh, like back then the cameras didn't really shoot film. Like none right. of the phones had videos. Right. And I had one camera at home and it was like uh, one of those old ones that mm. only shot pictures. Mm. So right. I couldn't like shoot video. I was like, all right, stop motion it is. Damn. And when I got to school, they actually had cameras you could borrow. So I got to, I borrowed a camera and it was really fun to mm. like think of something and make it into reality. And then for the next three years, I pretty much had the camera like half the time with me. Mm. Damn. Damn. Fucking hell. So like, w I, we talked about this before we started recording, but what are you wearing now? Like, yeah. no, oh. this thing. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Cause I thought it like, me and Connor thought it was a wristwatch at first. And yeah. I was like, no. wait a minute, I can't see any numbers on that. No, this is a, this is a whoop. This is a pretty much to uh, check your uh, vitals, I guess. Like. <laughs> What is a better word to use it? <laughs> we have, uh, we have, no, it's just, we it's just, it's like dystopian as fuck yeah. to say that. You have the same thing. You just have a screen on it. It's yeah. just steps. It's got steps. Doesn't it check your pulse? Uh, yeah, it does too. Yeah. Does it check your sleep? Uh, I don't wear it for bed. <laughs> it does the same thing. I just I, don't have a- How the fuck can you screen? sleep? How can you sleep with it on? I don't know. I mean, well, I, I, mean, people go to sleep yeah. there, I mean, there is, right? some, there is something ironic about yeah, me being yeah. like, oh yeah, it's you're so dystopian. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Wow. Yeah. No, I, I, I was uh, thinking of getting like a smartwatch, mm. but then I was mm -hmm. like, I don't want a screen on my watch. So this right. was the yeah, well, next most, best option. Most of the time, if I get buzzed like three times in a row too fast, I just like rip it off. I'm like, fuck this. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, well, stop pissing I me off. I, I used to wear a smartwatch as well, but like just yeah. the constant, like, cause every notification goes to your wrist, right? Yeah. So it's like, I, yeah. I don't want this. I just liked it when I, it was just kind of ser extra serotonin, even though you don't need this. When you go to the gym or you work out, or even if you do a long walk mm. and you come back, it's like that walk was 700 calories. You're like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> but how true is it? Uh, probably not true. It's probably a little over generous. Yeah. Uh, but this one has the Fitbit. It's bullshit anyway. It's all bullshit. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, like this is this is going to something different now. But so you wanted a smart watch that wasn't a smart watch, but that could give you everything that a smart watch could give you, well, yeah, except for telling the time. Yeah. Well, are, I you, have are, you, are you are you trying to optimize 
being a human. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay. Yeah, he's to- trying to fit in with the humans. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, are yes, you trying? To- yes. Are you yes, trying? Are, are you trying to become the perfect human being? <laughs> so, to edit better, you need to be healthy. Oh my God. Get out, Muda. If you're tired, the day is gonna go to waste. You can't get as much done. So you need to be more productive. You need yes. to sleep well. You need to eat well. You need to get all your vitamins. So are you being like yeah. very health conscious recently? Yeah. yeah well, I'm not like maximizing everything like 100%, yeah. but just a bit more. And I, yeah. I, I saw you made a tweet saying like, you. what, what happens if you take like any, every vitamin on earth? <laughs> Was that like a joke tweet or no, is that something not. you've done? No, I'm taking it, it's still here. What well. the fuck? I, 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 we shared a room not too long ago and uh, he had this like Monday, Tuesday, can I, can I say this? Yeah. He had this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday medicine thing. Yeah. He had two of them and they were both full <laughs> of just various pills. And I was like, there was at least 20 pills. A day he was taking. You're not human, bro. And I, I, and I what, what were you? What what is they like? It's what are you taking? Twenty four. Okay, twenty four <laughs> pills. What is it? A what day? is it? Yeah. Yes, and it's like a handful, like a legit handful of pills. It's nice. It's like your morning lunch as well. Dude, you get what? So what is what is? Okay, what is what is in these twenty four pills, and what are you hoping to get out of it? Okay, so it's uh, basic vitamins. Yeah. Because okay. uh, in Estonia you lack sunshine a lot. Yeah. So I was like vitamin yeah. D uh, deficient. Yeah. yeah. So that's a big thing. Then I have uh, minerals. Like I was also, cause, okay, don't- How do you know if you're vitamin D deficient? Okay, first of all, don't take pills just cause you can't buy them. Like I, <laughs> I did- It sounds uh, like when you're on 24 pills, you gotta be close. No, no, I yeah. did a uh, different blood tests to uh, like, first of all, vitamin tests and then <laughs> mineral tests. Yeah. I mean, vitamin D deficiency is pretty bad. Okay, yeah, where yeah, did you yeah. get this done? How did you, this is a place you can do it? Yeah, like I should, maybe, I should, a maybe I should do it. Well, I'm just gonna go, I gotta go to the hospital. And Don't they give you like blood grades and stuff, yeah. Yeah, but it's not about like vitamins and stuff and minerals. It's just mm. about like blood health. Yeah, whatever that whatever means. Whatever that means. It was like a long time ago, uh, because I didn't eat red meat that much, because mm-hmm. I just didn't want to. Uh, I was very vitamin B12 like deficient. Right, right. And yeah. I would get like insane headaches and tired and yeah. I didn't know why. And then I took the pills and I was like, fine, like two weeks afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it sounds smart when you put it in that perspective, but also it sounds kind of bizarre. Bro, you're gonna end up in the fucking like old folks okay. with like yeah. 80 question, pills. Question, yeah. question, <laughs> question. So, what, is it only red meat where you can get that vitamin or was there some kind of food you used for like- red, red meat is the best like thing. Yeah. For you didn't want to yeah. just change the diet a little bit. You want to- <laughs> Cause I was kind of dumb. <laughs> like every day I would eat the same things. I would wake up, eat porridge. In the middle of the day, I'd eat pasta. At night, I'd eat rice with like chicken. <laughs> yeah. And that was every- All carbs. <laughs> that, that's what all I eat for yeah. like two years straight. Like only those things. Yeah, I think right. I'd get a headache too if I yeah, ate all yeah, that for yeah, two yeah. years. It was fine, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you did, but like- <laughs> Wait, what was the pasta? Just plain or like uh, with something? I, I had some uh, cheese on it. <laughs> I can see why you wear the whoop now, bro. <laughs> Do you know how expensive be, food is? I'd be pretty scared as well for my vitals. I, it was really cheap. It was like 50 bucks a month. On was, was was this before you became a full time editor? Yeah. Do okay. I, do I need out, to- actually no, that checks out. That no, no. You just, you just yeah, I was about to say, do I need to be paying you more? Like, no, no. are you good? Like, <laughs> no. When I got uh, when I got an actual job, I was yeah. like, all right, in my pasta, I'm gonna put like minced meat now. <laughs> Damn, I'm moving <laughs> up. Moving, <laughs> moving good. Okay. Like, Sonny, we're eating good okay, tonight. Okay. We're putting so, minced meat in this. Uh, so, personal question: Have you always been like? conscious about how optimized you are as a human being, or was this something that happened naturally as you got more editing jobs and you kind of like started working more uh, for all of us? I'm asking if-, if Why, 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 why you look at me like I, like I was hot, like, I'm yeah, like- You were like, <laughs> like preparing to say something. I was like, I was thinking, I was like, yeah, I think I do optimize some things, but not like my diet or anything, which I probably should optimize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I definitely think about, I, I, I do you, anyone, do you, anyone do this where you, when I need to do multiple things in the house, I'm always constantly thinking about the optimal path in order yeah. to do everything. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm obsessed with it. I don't know why. Most, and then, and but the problem is, is that for a lot of people, they think about the optimal path, but they think about it for way too long and then don't get any of it done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that just happened, that just happened. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, uh, what was the question? Yeah, so like, were you always conscious oh, about optimizing. how optimized your life was? Uh, kind of, it, it mostly depends on how, like where I am in life. Cause mm. like people can watch YouTube videos like, oh, how to optimize your life. And like, there's like 10 things, but yeah. that doesn't work. Cause you need to optimize it for yourself. Everybody is so yeah. different. Yeah, yeah. It's so, all personalized. So right? even yeah. if I find like a perfect app that works me for that year, mm. like two years later, I might move to something that works for that time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, in the beginning sure. when I didn't have like a team, I didn't need Google calendar. I didn't need like specific apps, but now that it's like bigger or my life is different. I 
like change it around. Mm. Yeah. So when did the vitamins get like, at, <laughs> at which point, because, okay. I understand- 24 <laughs> fucking yeah, yeah, vitamins okay, a so day. When does, when does the vitamin arc start? So, so I understand like optimizing your life, getting calendars, getting like a to-do list every day. Yeah. You know, I've done that. Uh, there's a, there's like, there's a big step for me from like trying to optimize some parts of your life to be like, I can take every vitamin <laughs> under the sun to make sure that my body is as optimized as possible, which, you know, is actually a pretty smart thing to do to become health conscious. Conscious, but yeah. that is a big step. I just like- don't want to be on a steady diet of pills. You know? <laughs> I mean, I, I assume the only people who do this are like professional actors who have to get in like crazy shape or yeah, something, for right? Sure. Like yeah. they have like the it, most insane body coaches. It's not like it's insane, I don't know, testosterone pills or something. It's like very basic stuff. Like what? Vitamin B, C, D, uh, fucking magnesium, calcium, selenium. You know, you're not getting any of this stuff <laughs> enough? Not really. I think, I think you need to be expanding maybe your like diet. I mean, I know, I think I think we probably have deficiencies too. Oh, oh no, for sure. Do. But I'm yeah. just like, oh man, feel tired today. I'll just, yeah. Tomorrow will be good fine. Chug a couple of coffees and we're good. You know? yeah, yeah, but like a half a year ago, I stumbled upon this YouTuber. I was influenced. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But, uh, called like Brian Johnson, yeah. who, who looked like kind of like, but kind of insane. Cause he's like uh, this kind of a vampire, insane rich person <laughs> okay. who tries to live forever in yeah. a way. I think and I was, very, this I was very skeptical in the beginning, yeah. but yeah. then there's like, he has like no ulterior motives. Like right. everything that he does or tests is on his website for free, like yeah. 100%. And huh. I was like, okay, that's pretty interesting. And I looked at his statistics and all the pills and everything. And uh, like his description on how he changed his life. And I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna try it out for a month, see how it works. Mm. And after like two weeks, my, I would say my personal like feelings increased by like 20%. Damn. And my well being. Wow. That was a okay. sizable change. Right. Right. I'm going to try this too, and I'll come back uh, and be like, man, you changed my life. Yeah, Connor's <laughs> going to come back to the office with a medicine box. <laughs> I got I to gotta figure out who, who I got to ask to get these tests done. What, do you just get blood just, tests? Just go to do, the hospital. Do, do, do you have a coupon code? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got like a website or something? Yeah, yeah, like, you, got a, you got a website, you got a code. code Is it like a subscription or something? Yeah. Uh, just normal hospitals. I, I presumably you have to go back to check up on like how like it's going. Is there like, what's is there any downsides to getting like, Oh, I mean, you're putting on a medical professional, but I assume this downside is having like too much of certain vitamins as well. Yeah, yeah, no, like I picked the ones that I needed, not everything that he takes. Mm-hmm. I designated towards my like diet. Mm. Uh, so some, like half the stuff I'm not taking, some stuff I'm taking. Cause I did like, um, I've done blood tests for a couple of years now mm. to see like how my uh, vitamins are. <laughs> and uh, pretty much now I just did the mineral test as well, which are pretty expensive because they charge like 20 bucks per one mineral. Mm-hmm. Which is uh, oh, wow. okay. yeah, pretty insane. But I discovered some that I'm missing for some reason, which are like kind of basic. Mm. And so I'm just taking those. And uh, I think some only last also for half a year and then I'm gonna stop taking them. Right, right. right. So it's oh. not like I'm doing it forever. What do, what do you think has been like the most effective? What, what, is it the vitamins? Absolutely you- no fucking idea. I'm taking like 20 of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's the it issue. It could just be a placebo for all we know as well. If know? it was, that's great. I don't care. Yeah, fair as enough. As long as it works. Fair yeah, enough. I mean, yeah, I think I'd feel something put in 24 pills in my body. Yeah, probably. Like, I'd, I'd either be floating by the end of it or I'd be- <laughs> I'd just like tripping balls. I'd be scared to swallow stuff for yeah. a while. This episode is sponsored by Vessi. Boys, I am surrounded by some God tier looking shoes and some jackets. It must be a Vessi ad. It's Vessi day. I get to add another pair of shoes to my collection. John, I'm already way ahead of you. I'm already rocking my <laughs> Vessis. <laughs> Look at those kicks, dog. <laughs> That's right. If you guys don't know, we absolutely love Vessis. Honestly, all we ever wear are Vessi shoes for any occasion because Vessi is built for any occasion. Rain, snow, sleet, or shine. I even wore it to Gant's wedding. Connor, what you're holding there is a brand new pair of Vessi Soho shoes. 100% waterproof, <laughs> gusseted tongue, Dymatex technology, synthetic leather exterior, Grippy outsoles, non-marking outsoles, padded collar. Oh my God, Ooh. it's the perfect shoe. Jesse isn't just a shoe company. They make some jackets as well, specifically the overcast that both Gant and Connor Ooh, are wearing right this. now. It is a 100% waterproof jacket with a stretchy shell, soft fleece lining, a raglan sleeve design, adjustable hood with a soft curved hem and secure zipper pockets. It's perfect for any kind of winter outdoor activities. So if you want to be like us and join the Vessi gang, go mm-hmm. to vessi.com slash trash taste to pick yourself a pair or get yourself one of these. That's vessi.com slash trash taste. And if you use our link, you get 15% off your first order, guys. Join the Vessi gang today. Thank you very much. Back to the episode. episode. What, what? actually, I brought some gifts. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn, all right. Some vitamins? (laughs) (laughs) Oh! Wait, why did she bring this? Wait. 
I feel like uh, maybe we're a bit tired, you know? <laughs> Garn just flew here. If you're tired, oh. Garn, you should definitely drink this. Oh, okay, okay, what's this one? So these are some really fancy things. I don't, no, you haven't really said that in Japan, but in every kombini, there's like a wall mm. of these little liquids. Yeah. And yeah. they're supposed to be drank like before drinking or after drinking. That, so that, that, one, that, one, that, that one. Genki. What the fuck? This is like a give you energy. This is fucked. Yeah, I actually yeah. I actually it? drink one of these every morning now. Oh, uh, shit. It okay. actually works better for me than a coffee. <laughs> yeah. so I drank one this morning and I'm feeling good. So All right. that's what really good. Wait, wait. Maka ekisu? Maka ekisu. Maka is like- um, What the hell is maka ekisu? Ma it's like a, yeah, Exu's extract. What the hell? Yeah. Are you popping it up? Yeah. This one is um, Peparize. This is also for like, I think this is more so for um, hangovers and stuff like that. This is like a liver kind of drink. So it helps cleanse your liver after a night of drinking. You drink this before you start drinking. Mm. Yeah, that's not an energy drink. That's a that's a hangover cure. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, is Mudan bringing us like vodka or something? Yeah, that's what, when, that you, when you bought out the Yukon, I'm like, oh We've, my God. We've had, we call these magic potions. But why does it taste like <laughs> Red Bull? Just, uh, all of them taste like Red Bull. They so, all taste like Red so Bull, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pete one time had this thing because uh, there's a drink called uh, or or Oromon Si. Oronami Si. Or yeah. I would never, can never fucking say that. <laughs> Oronami Si. It's basically just an energy drink, but I guess it's, it looks like a vitamin, like kind of a, like a medicine bottle. Yeah. And Pete was like, man, I used to drink those all the time when I was sick. I'd have like four of them. Yes. I was like, Pete, you know, there's like 20 grams of sugar in one of those. And he's like, oh. I guess I did feel something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I felt sick. <laughs> yeah. well, I was like, yeah, if you drink four energy drinks and you feel sick, you're gone. You're not yeah, gonna you're feel gone. much better. You're fucking gone, bro. God, that's I remember- stuff, Christ. Man. Yeah, so that's- Maka uh, apparently is also good for um, uh, erectile dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> Maka apparently it gets you like mega hard. So uh, wait, what it gets you hard or it, is it, it, it keeps it keeps? I give you an hard. update in twenty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the trash day special right there. <laughs> Entire trash day episode, but we're all rock hard. Just time. take a Viagra, and you will never know which episode it is. Is, is, is Viagra uh, over the counter in Japan? I have no idea. And I the, very and much and doubt it. In, in the UK, they like a few years ago, they made it over the counter. Really? So you can just rock up to the store and buy a Viagra. What, just like at a convenience <laughs> yeah. store? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Damn. So this episode it. is- I'm uh, good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> My no. penis is healthy. Yeah, but I very much doubt it just because there's a lot, like, a lot of stuff that are over the counter mm. in other countries. It's just a lot harder to find in Japan. They're yeah. Very much- This sounds just kind of wild, just having a- <laughs> Rock hard penis, <laughs> completely out of your control. <laughs> <laughs> but Viagra is only prescription based. Prescription, it's uh, prescription based here. Uh, yeah, very yeah. Much. Pres my my favorite like insane Mudan fact that you told me that I don't know if you still do this. You told me that you were spending like a thousand dollars a month on Fiverr just finding editors. No, no, that was a long time ago. Like yeah. at the beginning. That's yeah, that's crazy. So run run through that. Like, how did you? Well, Connor was like, "All right, I'm gonna do a highlights channel." I'm gonna need editors. And I'm like, okay, I can handle it. And then he was like, all right, five hours of footage. He's like, all right, how about two videos a week? Can you do more? Can you do four videos a week? I'm like, no, <laughs> stop, please. <laughs> but uh, I just needed editors fast. So I mm. went through Fiverr. I, I spent so much time on Fiverr trying to find different editors. Yeah. I would say it's, I found some really solid editors there, like really talented, mm. who are still with me. Mm -hmm. But I would say out of like 50 people, that you test, you find one person who fits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that's where you're like, sometimes I'd spend two grand and I wouldn't even get like a video that's usable at all. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So do you, did you find that there was a correlation between how much you paid and how good the editor was? Yeah. <laughs> Just, it's, uh. So I pay like, you know, there's uh, people who don't charge much. Yeah. So they'd be like, all right, I do it for $10. Yeah. And then person was like, I do it for 200. Both same quality. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like literally. <laughs> it, so fucking if funny. it costs over one hundred, probably shit. <laughs> it's it's like the, the people in the middle who are like fifty around yeah. fifty dollars. Those are good. Yeah. yeah so you yeah. find those. A lot of them also do it just to like get the foot in the door. Mm, so there right. have been some people who are like, yeah, I'm doing it right now just to have my name out there. Yeah. yeah. And who have actually like helped, and now they're editing for like bigger YouTubers as well. Mm. Yeah. Who started at fifty dollars, now they're making you know a couple of grands. I just mean, I, th I think the biggest thing about being a YouTuber, at least for me personally, because you know we do work with a lot of editors as well, mm. uh, it's finding the consistency uh, and finding someone who understands YouTube editing because I think yeah. YouTube editing is very, very different from traditional media editing. No, um, if, if somebody does traditional media, I'm instantly like, no, that, yeah, that yeah, doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. Cause relearning is like almost impossible. 
but you can teach somebody from scratch. Mm. Yeah. Uh, question right away. What is one of the videos of ours that you've edited that just makes you shudder when you think about it? <laughs> it's just like the video you're like, not again. Well, Any of our videos. Probably it's, the, it's probably I, gonna be mine. I could probably answer for me. I'm probably the Japan special, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> that, was just, probably, that was probably so huge. huge. I guess the trash taste special I was like, it's so fun when I'm in it, but it's it's kind of like the same with video games. Mm. Like you want to get into it and you, you know, you're going to spend the next six hours of your life, at least six hours minimum. If you don't have six hours of free time, you're not going to start on it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I never have six hours of free time. Right. So it's really hard to like get into the mindset of it. Right, right, right. right. Cause usually on a daily basis, I go through like 10, 20 videos and uh, there's just not enough time to like- What, you'll just open a video for five minutes and be like, all right, next video. <laughs> no, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you you said you? 10 videos, right? Are you opening a video for like 30 minutes at a piece and then just- I mean, it can be like 10 minutes, some can be two hours, it depends. Okay, okay. It, like, my job right now, like I, I'm mostly the glue that holds everything together. I'm, I'm like the quality control. So sometimes like, yeah, I go over the video. I'm like, all right, that's cool. Uh, maybe I just change one or two things. Mm, and sometimes yeah. I'm like, all right, well, that's like four hours of my work just to like get it up to par. Right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So is there a video that you look back on that you've edited for like any of us that you're like, this is this was a, this was a tough one. This was a tough one. But I don't. Are there any like types of videos where you're just like, oh god, this is gonna be a anime videos? I hate them so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, like what you do is fine now, but I'm happy say, to know. Yeah. I would say that the old uh, type where you're like, all right, so I'm going through Full Metal Alchemist, and this episode 36, uh, they did that thing, yeah, and yeah. you'd be like, all right, well, I have to get the raw footage. I have to go through the entire season, find that one specific moment just for that two seconds, and then I have to do it again like hundred times. I remember when we did the hentai special, I, I just handed you all the hentai. Yeah. And then I guess you had to go through it for the Patreon version and play the bits we were talking about. <laughs> no, no, that was pretty easy compared to like yeah, true, normal anime stuff. Yeah. Well, Cause it's only a couple of episodes, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. This is why Mudan doesn't edit for my channel. You know? yeah, so <laughs> that, how does Alan do it? Um, so we- He gets paid monthly. <laughs> yeah, 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 he has a salary, which, uh, you know, I, the, there's a big difference between how we paid Mudan, like, or I guess how we paid Mudan right now, which is kind of like more of a project for project basis, mm. where for me and the editing team I have for my channel, mm. it's a salaried kind of based. Okay. Uh, because I soon realized that having them watch anime takes time. Yeah. And it's weird to get billed for someone being like, it took me 10 hours to watch this many episodes of anime to find the right footage. Right. And yeah, I'm you like, do forget that sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you don't really factor that in when you're editing, you know, obviously the footage where you're not, it's not technically on the timeline. You're mm. there just kind of like, maybe they need to watch it to get familiar with the material. Mm. So I was just like, I think a salaried kind of like position works better than a freelance position because having sure. to track your time when you're like just watching anime, it just, it tracks a lot harder as well. Yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure. but I, I got. I, I always wanted to ask, what was your opinion when you edited the first Trash Taste episode? And not like not like the first one we released. So oh, the zero. Yeah, episode zero. So the patrons will know this. We upload. We recorded like an episode zero. Uh, where, hey, if you want to see that, patreoncom slash <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey. Uh, where it was just like us doing a. It was mostly just like camera setup test where we we're just. Yeah setting up to see if it looks good. We recorded and then we kept talking until like <laughs> the camera went out, even though it was like only meant to be a test to see yeah. how Mudan could uh, make it look. Yeah. What was your initial reactions when uh, when you first saw like the trash taste and uh, what we were gonna be doing? Damn, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> so finally something easy. Finally something <laughs> easy to do. So before that I had like a similar type of uh, content that I was making and it was yeah. so intense and so hard. Mm. So like trash taste kind of helped me pivot from that. Yeah. To, right. uh, like this, which is much easier. And uh, yeah, I like it. You yeah. also handled it pretty well. Like there was no awkwardness. The like walls were, cut, I guess, weirdly empty. And looking yeah, back- Yeah, because we didn't have any like yeah, any yeah, background, yeah. right? Yeah. Cause the, the camera right now is like really natural. And in, at the beginning, it also seemed really natural how it was so flat. Yeah. But looking back, it's like, whoa, that's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, <laughs> I, when, looks, I, when I look back to like our first, like first season trash taste episodes and there's, it goes to the center camera, yeah. I'm just like, yeah. whoa, I don't remember the camera looking like that. Like, well, it was really far away. Cause yeah, we, yeah. we didn't have, well, we didn't have much money. So we kind of just had a camera that had a 
I think a 24 millimeter lens, which <laughs> made it have to just be like at the end of the room. Yeah. yeah. Which gives it this really weird look. Yeah. Of like, you can tell it's far away. It's but very it's, like, yeah, wide it, looking. It's again. very, very yeah. interesting. And no one could go in the middle of the room. Like everyone had to be in the corners because yeah. if you went through the middle, you'd be walking past I don't it. remember what we even talked about on that like pilot episode. I don't remember either. It was it was a long time ago. What, what's been your favorite Trash Taste video to edit? Well, the specials. All the specials? I just, I well, I love the specials because it's literally like the closest to a TV shows that you make. Mm. And I also can, well, I love Trash Taste because you don't ha have me like force me to do anything. It's like, <laughs> Full creative freedom, <laughs> so I can experiment with whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, because everything you produce is banger, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's it's all based on a trust system, right? Yeah. Which is very important. I feel like, I, oh, great, uh, yeah, great. I I mean that's pretty much what keeps me going, like mm. the creative freedom. Because the moment that somebody's like, "All right, here's like five sheets of exactly what you have to do," yeah. that's when I'm like, "Okay, this is a job now. Uh, I don't want to do it." Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> Cause like, I remember it's it's funny that you said that about anime footage. Cause I remember, I think how we found you was you were originally an anime YouTuber, <laughs> right? Yeah. You were an anime uh, Like how, when, I mean, you still kind of make, you, I, I can't remember what was the last anime video you've actually like made on your personal channel. Cause Mudan does actually have a personal channel and personal streams, which you do to, I guess, figure out the, Logistics. Log logistics yeah. and the landscape of the other editing projects mm -hmm. that you're gonna be mm -hmm. doing, I guess. When did you stop doing anime content? I think like three years ago. Three years ago? Mm. It was, well, I didn't want to do it anymore. Right. Cause I was not the that club. passionate about it. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to everyone eventually, yeah, yeah, except yeah, for yeah. this guy. Except no, for this says, guy. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah, you go through so much anime, everything seems repetitive. And then also like, if you do reviews, it's like, what new can I say to this? Like, I don't have that natural charisma or like ideas to bring to the table right. without it going too stale. Yeah. yeah. But I think when I found you, what, what set you apart immediately from a lot of other YouTubers was just like, again, like you had this like, it wasn't just like a sit in front of a camera, do a review type of thing, you know, go through episodes, throw in a joke, that kind of stuff. Like, you know, I think what made like you and, you know, in the same way that made Gaunt uh, very unique in the Anitube sphere was just that you guys had like your own flavor that mm. made it instantly like, this is a Giga video, or, like this is a mood on video. And in your case, you were just like going so balls to the walls with your editing. Oh, I, I remember I was just like, every like three seconds, it was just like, oh, there's an After Effects <laughs> thing. There's an After Effects thing. It, like, it, it just seemed like so over the top, but I think that was like one of the big reasons why I like decided to like get you to edit for me was just like, no one in the Anitube sphere is editing like this. Mm -hmm. You know, no one's making videos like this. And I think that's what kind of set you apart from everyone else, you know? Yeah. Well, when I started Anitube, I only did it for two reasons. Cause uh, I like, well, I wanted to be a YouTuber in a way, mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't have much to talk about. So it was either video games or anime. Yeah. It's like the two hobbies. And I already did video games for like a year. Yeah. And that got nowhere. So I was like, all right, anime, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did yeah. you go for video games first? Uh, I don't know, it's more basic. Everybody does it. I wanted to see if it works. But I think the big issue was I did not really, I guess, commit to the community. Because mm. yeah, yeah. I did not speak to anybody. And in a year of like doing videos, I did not grow at all, mm. but I did learn like a lot of important stuff with, for editing. Yeah. Yeah. So when I started AniTube, uh, I actually went to like community boards, interacted with members, uh, did like community events and mm. it was really fun. And mm. that's how I met a lot of people. Mm. Yeah. I think maybe like some of you as well through some of that. Mm. Yeah, I, I can't remember when I first met you. Uh, must have been some anime expo. I think at first I, anime. It's, yeah. it's, it's always anime when, you know, the anime community was still a thing and people met up at anime expo. Uh, <laughs> good which old is, days. <laughs> the, good, that, the good old days. Yeah. Um, we weren't swamped. Yeah, so you've been doing a lot more streams now. I got to ask, what made you want to do the stream where you sat in a white room doing fucking Dude, nothing. I wanna I wanna steal this idea so bad. Is that the one where we raided you when <laughs> yeah. you specifically texted us not to raid you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were doing the after dark and yeah. I was like, all right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna message Connor. Do, but please do not raid me. I didn't I'm see like, the message. And then I'm like, okay, yeah. me, I'll, I'll message Joey in case as well. <laughs> Joey also didn't see I the message. Yeah. No, because we were live, I think. At the time. Yeah. What was the concept of the stream? You want to tell people what it was? Uh, so pretty much I went into a white room. Like I took a friend's apartment room, uh, made the floors white with like sheets, everything white. Like the camera would be just the lens. I'd cover everything up yeah. and I would just stay there. Essentially it'd be like a subathon, but for every sub I'd stay there for like a minute or two minutes longer. Damn. And how long were you in there for? It wasn't that long, it was like 13 hours. 
<laughs> well, you, said it, you said it started to fuck with you, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. It was horrible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you literally put yourself in a psych- psychiatric solitary hospital. Solitary confinement. Yeah, in, in solitary <laughs> confinement. Well, there's there's been a lot of studies that say that like, being in that kind of environment, like after even like a few days can like really mm-hmm. cause some mental Well, harm. there was that Vsauce video, right? Yeah, it's really, that. really bad yeah. for you. Yeah. That's the- where I got the idea from actually. Oh, right, so right. like Michael did it and I was like, hmm. Well, he did a YouTube, cause most of my streams have been like, well, people have done YouTube videos. Mm-hmm. I wanna, I can do it live on a stream right. instead. So I was yeah. like, so all right. you and Connor have the same mindset with that. Yeah, I wanna do that too. I wanna have some way the chat can fuck with me though. Mm. Uh, I feel right. like that like kind of messes up the dynamic of a white room. So I'm going more for the normal type psychological of psychological like, torture yeah, kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah. Like that, like the zoo type of vibe, right? Where people just look in, but you can't interact. But, it's but not I, feel like I feel like that's boring though. Cause you can't leave. Okay. okay. <laughs> we have to say for Twitch, you can always leave. It's not torture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, can, you can leave anytime so, you want. So yeah, yeah. Mudan does a lot of streams and a lot of the time Mudan does streams and then I'll see which ones are like not <laughs> fucked and then I'll I'll just take the ideas. <laughs> well, you did the treadmill stream, that seemed pretty fucked. Yeah, but I thought that'd be easy, honestly. What do you mean? It was so bad. It was like 14 <laughs> hours of pain for me. Yeah, I thought, no, I could do it. <laughs> I, I looked at that and I was like, this is one of the more achievable Mudan ideas. And was it like as achievable as you hoped? Yeah, but it was miserable. It was an awful idea. Yeah. So I, I, I did this stream where uh, the viewers could control, or you did it first. So we, but you did one where you walked 100,000 steps. Yeah, I wanted stream. to do 100,000 steps on stream without stopping even once. So I got a treadmill. Mm. I had like uh, different activities planned and it was also like a donathon. So people gave money, Joey graciously, like fed pretty much 100 dogs by himself. Yep, and, cause it was uh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> and that also gave me like 20,000 more steps. You're welcome. Um, and and so you did that and I thought, well, that's good, but I don't want to do it as crazy. And in my head, I was like, that's a cool idea, but I feel like marathon is such a good clickbait word because mm. yeah. it's such a strong association with like- And it's pain. easy to understand, right? Yeah, yeah. 100,000 steps is, I mean, it's, 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 it's much better than a marathon if you're terms of distance, but I was like, a marathon, I think makes sense. So I did that, but I was like, what if I let the viewers control the speed of the treadmill? Right. So I, I, I got one of my moderators um, to program a treadmill that we could, used with the chat interactivity. Mm. It was miserable, it was horrible. I realized how bad it is that someone else controls your speed. Like that was the single most worst aspect of it yeah. that you couldn't get a pace. That sounds yeah. like it. Yeah. I wonder if that's like actually worse than going at the same pace for double the distance. I think I would, uh, I don't know. It's it hard to say. It just fucks up your rhythm, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because the moment I would get comfortable, they would change it. Yeah. And it would, it, they could, there was no delay on the inputs. Right. So they could, they were changing it every half second. And I thought about going faster at points as well, but uh, after doing a couple of tests, I figured out that no, it has to be exactly the same amount the entire way through. Mm, Otherwise right. it's like too much like muscle effort. Yeah, yeah you yeah. need your legs to get like so used to it. Yeah. And like like the, like when, cause when you stop <coughs> walking at any point, your legs are like. <gasps> <Yes>. Also <gasps> like it like fucks up. with your balance as well, right? Which is important. Cause like if, if you're nice and balanced on a treadmill, then it's like less energy. Uh, uh, everyone has like an optimal stride. Yeah. Yeah, and like a stride that is like least resistance for you. Yeah. And you'll find it by fucking around on the treadmill. Or like it's when you're running on a treadmill as well and you're like, I could run faster, but I will be able to run way less in like the next 30 minutes mm. if I do this because right. I, it's just gonna be more work for me. Yeah, for sure. Um, that was miserable. So, <laughs> But good luck editing that video. That's a eight hour video. Going up in a couple of days. Is it really? Is it fun? <laughs> it must've been awful to edit. Uh, it was decent because you didn't do much. Uh, yeah, it was kind of hard to do anything. It was like you complaining for 50% of the time. <laughs> that was kind of it, yeah. That's yeah. just every Connor video. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, a, lot that's, just, that's a lot of it. That's a lot of it. That's just Connor uh, in general, yeah. Yeah. In, in fact. But so. hey, it was only a one stream. Yeah. Moodai messaged me one time and was like, Connor, you, you got to stop doing these streams that are like five streams into one video. Yeah. Are you it's talking like, about his fear and hunger videos? How's it editing that many hours? Yeah, that one's footage? good. Well, the videos perform well. I know the videos are gonna do well. <laughs> like he, he does like, all right, fear and hunger, fear and hunger, all endings. Then it was like uh, something else that was like 20 hours. <clears throat> and for like a month straight, you only filmed videos that were 20 to 30 hours long. And each video takes like a month to edit. <laughs> and you need two videos out a week. So it's okay. like- Please make a meme review. Yeah, so the, so, the, so <laughs> that yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so there I was like, all right, honey, yes, honey, I'll make a, I'll make a meme review. <laughs> and then every time you go like on a trip, I need to be like, we don't have enough videos, please. Yeah, after then I've had to yesterday I had to do a stream where I did two videos in one. Right, right. Yeah. Um, to keep like, content. I'm fine with the backlog, but for some reason every time winter comes, you're like, Mudan, can we do four videos a week? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, can we? You gotta get that. No. So for so for context. Uh, 
uh, Mudan runs my streaming channel, but we like we split the uh, the, the ad revenue that we get, mm. um, and we, we kind of like I guess we strategize on how to make it like perform well. Yeah, mm. and a lot of the time it sucks, but if you like cut up videos, like it, a lot of people would rather just watch one hour mm -hmm. of yeah. something. Yeah. Just have it, just go through it all, then four videos of 15 minutes. Yeah, for sure. Which which is bad for the YouTube channel if you're trying to upload two, two a week, because it's like, okay, now how do we keep this going? Because yeah. some, some games, you know, like they just, they naturally run their course at like 20 hours of playtime. Yeah. But if you split it up into two videos, the first video will get tons of views and no yeah. one's gonna watch the second video. Yeah. Cause it's just how, that's just how it goes. For yeah, some yeah. reason- old, old YouTube used to be able to get away with that, but Bro, nowadays, you used to upload 30 fucking parts. I know. And you watch insane. all of them. Yeah. And now I'll do like a hundred hour playthrough. I'll be like, wait, can we get into one video, please? <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, damn. Uh, how, do you, how do you keep saying during those types of videos where it's just like one thing? Cause I mean, I, I, I have this same problem where I send my editors like the 20th Genshin video and I'm like, please go on, please. I'm, do something else. <laughs> <laughs> I beg of you. And I'm like, all right, I got you. Honkai Star Rail, <laughs> baby. No, <laughs> my God. We'll do it like back to back, you know, like Honkai Genshin, Honkai Genshin. Mix it up gotta there, spread you know? it out, you gotta spread it out. And then, and then I'm like, all right, fine. I'll do a tier list video. It's, it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. I'll do an IGN anime list yeah. review, it's fine. <laughs> This episode is sponsored by Harry's. With Harry's, you get high quality German engineered blades right to your door. Every order saves you money compared to that big brand most guys are used to buying. Get them as low as, get this boys, $2 per blade. $2? Yeah. But only if you go to harrys.com slash trash taste. As you guys know, I've been using Harry's for like two years now exclusively. Uh, it's pretty much the only razor I used. I used to, some of the big brands before, and I'm not gonna name and shame, but uh, I definitely prefer Harry's. And uh, there's a reason why whenever I can go and buy them, because they don't, sell in Japan, unfortunately. A smooth shave shouldn't be rough in your wallet. The trial set is a $13 value at just $3 what? at harrys.com slash trash taste. Damn. It includes a five blade German engineered razor, uh -huh. weighted handle, yep. foaming shave cream, okay, and a travel cover. Oh, you sold. And you can schedule delivery refills for as low as $2, half of what you'd pay for other blades. Harry's has the highest customer satisfaction in the shaving industry, and they're still offering a no risk trial, guys. You don't like your shave, no problem. Problem, it's on them. You can cancel your subscription at any time as well. So get a subscription that saves you time and money with Harry's. Get started with a $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash trash taste. That's harrys.com slash trash taste for a $3 trial set. Back to the episode. I, I got to ask, has there ever been a point where you've been watching a trash taste episode and something one of us has said has made you like legitimately angry. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple times. Well, I've noticed, I've started to notice in recent Trash Chase episodes, whenever someone says something, usually Connor, uh, there's well, like a little like window that pops up being like, um, actually. Yeah, this is very helpful to have actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it works sometimes when you're kind of doubting yourself as well, but yeah, sometimes yeah. I don't notice it. Cause you're like, well, yeah, that's true for sure. Just, you just say it out there. I don't <laughs> even notice that. Shit. You're like, yeah, that's a fact. You know, I know this. I'm like, all right. Yeah. Well, so, okay, what, okay, what is the most egregious f f thing that we said was a fact that was wrong? I know the most annoying thing was, uh, why do they put the white uh, paint on airplanes? Oh. Cause, uh, oh, cause there was no solid answer online. No, it, the fucked up thing was that you looked on the Google, like why is, uh, why is it that? And it said, oh, cause black paint is heavier. And then somebody Googled some other thing and it said the opposite. But the thing <laughs> was, it was literally both of them in the same article. And at the end of the article, it just said, this statement is false. And then the statement <laughs> it just said. <laughs> what and the I, fuck is the point of that article then? Oh, Jesus. It's, no, it's Google that like picks the uh, correct answer, yeah. but it like messes up. Well, Google, Google is, has this bad thing where if you feed it the question, the answer you want, like you ask the question in a way, it will find an article mm -hmm. that gives you the answer mm. that you kind of were looking for yeah. a lot of the time. Uh, which is kind of bad because a lot of the time you're like, yes, I guess I'll trust the first thing that popped yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is annoying and obviously. Yeah. So like the Mudan fact checks that like are on screen every so often, we did not tell him to put that on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's no, Mudan. I was like, I'll do it myself. <laughs> that, was, that was a him thing and we kind of just- We, I didn't even I mean, we need it, it. <laughs> we need it. Right, right, I didn't even notice it people, until people started commenting about it. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> oh, thank God Mudan is fact checking yeah, yeah, this I'm shit. like, oh my God, this is such a brilliant <laughs> idea. <laughs> fact checks are very helpful. Yeah, with some of the things you said, I was like, well, this guy, I, I can't do this anymore. You know? 
<laughs> so what's he talking about? It's also like some of the things need like a wall of text for context. Yeah. My uh, girlfriend's also optometrist. Okay. She, yeah. She's uh, studied like how the eyes and stuff work. And you have a lot of hot takes about, um, you know, dark mode and how glasses work. And she just keeps editing and was like, bro, they, what are they saying? It's so fucked up. <laughs> and then I'd hear like a 10 minute rant about how old is wrong. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> well, what did you so do right? Well, wait, wait, isn't isn't it actually that, okay, I'm gonna give you one right now so you can work with. Isn't it that like light mode actually is better for your eyes or something, the way the contrast works? If you have astigmatism, astigmatism uh, yeah. then it's like better because you perceive oh. uh, like the contrast is better. Yeah, oh, right. okay, okay. Yeah. Well then there we go. So it's a skill issue. Check on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a skill issue. So it's literally- Sounds a like a skill issue. day. Get better eyes, isn't it? Yeah, just, oh, just get do good it. eyes. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have 2020 <laughs> vision guys. <laughs> All right, call me out, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying, okay, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get uh, surgery eventually. Sydney literally, uh, she recently actually just got ICL. Mm. Uh, Did she convert back to dark mode? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a good question. I don't, a good I don't question. actually know. I don't think she ever has ever- She should try it. Okay, here's the thing. She's, now that I think about it, she's also a light mode user, but that's because it's just default in most apps. I just don't think she- uh, So she's just- I got another fact that Mudan's gonna have to check. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think the most common surgery in the world is like the, uh, the replacing the lens of your eye, uh, the cataracts, is it? Oh, cataracts. cataracts. So, you know, cause you, when you, you just age naturally, mm, it gets yeah. cloudier. Mm. So they just, when you get older, you just get a change at some point. I think that's the most common surgery. I really hope when this episode goes up, the box is just gonna say, no, you That would be so, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm setting it up so good. If I'm right, Pog, if I'm wrong, okay. I'll be like, you're an idiot. Cause they're also like so good at doing it now, mm -hmm. it, but you'll probably, we'll all probably have to get it when we're, if we make it to 80. Yeah. Well, Mudan, Certainly well with yeah. all these vitamins, <laughs> but I'm. It's very questionable if I'll make it. Bro. No, I, I knew I did the 23 and Me with the genetics. Me too. Uh, me too. They my told eyes me all, are gonna get fucked up. Oh fuck, really? Yeah. What else? What, what, what other health it, things uh, did they tell dementia. you? Did, did, Dude, me too. Oh fuck yeah, boy. <laughs> 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 fuck yeah, dementia, dementia. dementia gang. Yeah. I actually forgot about that. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I get it. No. Yeah, they said uh, Alzheimer's as well. They hmm. said I had a high chance, and I was shitting myself because they said, "Oh, you have a high chance of Alzheimer's." I was like, "Fuck, okay, that sounds bad." And I click on it, and and there like like high risk category meant like 1% extra chance or something. Oh, I was like, all right. I was like, bro, are you kidding me? I gamble with way worse odds. I'll take 1%. I mean, they also check like one like sequence out of 50 possible ones. Mm. So even if that's low, the other can be high, so. Oh, well, yeah, okay. cause mine said like, like, like very low chance of balding. Mm. So that was a fucking lie. <laughs> So that was a lie. <laughs> Straight lie. Go watch the video. It's up on YouTube. You can see it. Wow. True. We should. Uh, I, I should. I should do one, and then we should you reveal should. it. You should. On uh, trash days. Well, you know what's annoying? Do you get these emails all the time? Because I, I did. I did the ancestry, and I did. Oh, oh I we, get knew, the we found a new ancestor. We found a new cousin. Yeah. I don't fucking care. Yeah. I don't want a new cousin. I don't want any cousins. I get that so often. I have to mute it. That's just my any. life. Like, like <laughs> I, yeah, I, I was that, like, I was, like, yeah, I was like, gonna say, I was like, this is how much, like how Gaunt describes all his relationships, his family. Just like, we found three cousins. Like, I, don't, I don't want any fucking new cousins. I don't know, I'm happy with the cousins I have. It's like every family meeting I have, I'm just like, oh, that's a, a new cousin, like a cousin cousin or like a cousin. <laughs> uh, and they're like, yes. But yeah, like, you know, yeah. you know, if I'm like, <laughs> three connections away, not like, or like it's so like sparse the connection. I'm like, yeah. why are you telling me? I don't care. Would, who does this interest? Yeah, I'm not gonna go meet fucking Barry Dissinger in fucking, you know, North Dissinger. Carolina. Barry Dissinger. <laughs> like North Carolina's like fourth remove. Like I'm not gonna go fucking meet him. But you can travel all over the world. You just have a place to stay. That's a, Mr. That's a Mr. Beast video. Yeah. I contact all of my cousins for a battle royale. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably wondering why I've all dragged you into all the right. group chat. Only one of us can continue the bloodline. <laughs> We're going to decide right That's now. That's just an average Asian household, except <laughs> we're fighting over inheritance from our grandma. Mm, true. That is true. That is, that is, that is just a, yeah, Asians are like, yeah, we do that yeah. every generation actually. Yeah. That's why I'm really good to my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well. Do you so, think we're gonna get immortality within our lifetime? Because like, like, I, what? I don't know. Because I mean, like, he's gonna get a first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, if anyone's gonna outlive anyone, it's gonna be Muda. Not immortality. Oh, they might they're, they're, the de aging okay, stuff. So it's like, like is the de aging well. is what I really mm. meant. Well, no, because you're some bro. You, you're not immortal. So you get, if you get hit by a fucking truck, you're, let's see how immortal you are. Just don't get hit All by a right, truck. Okay. <laughs> de aging. Doesn't Japan have like the highest age? 
of like yes, yeah, no, and, uh, uh, no, no not Korea. anymore. It's, it's Hong Korea. Kong now. Oh, is it Hong Kong? Yeah. Oh, fuck but how did they do it? Did they just drink the little bottles? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just yeah, these yeah. little bottles. <laughs> but I think just the diet, right? The diet, like the average Japanese person, just doesn't have a fucked diet. Yeah. Like also, just naturally, I think a lot of Japanese foods are just standardized to be more healthier than other like cuisines. In but the they world. do have one of the highest rates of, or a higher rate of stomach cancer because of all the salt yes. they generally use. Yeah. So salt obviously that is MSG just pure dog. salt. <laughs> MSG, yeah. mm-hmm. um, I think it's just genetic diff. I don't really? think it's a genetic. Do you, think, you don't no, think it's genetic? No, I think I think it's diet. I, it's oh, all oh. diet, God. Yeah, it's, it's probably diet. I, I mean, I, there I, might be some genetic I stuff. I feel in there, like genetics is, has. A, like, okay, you're gonna have a dude. When I awful time okay. fact checking. <laughs> when I, I, I when I'm at, when I, like looking at listen, me being like, oh for fuck's sake, like, stop <laughs> talking. When I'm at a when I'm at a real kind and they give me half of these foods, I'm like, yeah, no shit, I'm gonna be immortal if I eat all this. I'm like, not. I don't know what half of this shit is, and half of it is slimy, and I feel like it tastes healthy. I'm pretty sure you can get every vitamin from the. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Like is superfoods a thing? Yes. Or is it just like- Yes. Yes, but like, the problem is- Let me introduce 19... you to broccoli gone and kale. They're superfoods. Yeah. Yes. The problem with superfoods- is super Because oh. <laughs> they have insane benefits to the human body. <laughs> Do they? Uh, I, I assume so. Let's fact check this. Like the only reason- Wake like, me up when we have ultra foods, man. When <laughs> yeah. are they coming out? Yeah, where's the, where's the next level from super Yeah, foods? I want an ultra food. You know, so then like people, then people so. like, they're like, oh, kale superfood. Let me blend it. And then it, then it somehow loses all like uh, a bunch of its traits that allow it to be absorbed into your body. Yeah, so. Oh yeah, isn't that the same thing with like fruit as well? Yeah, smoothies too, if you yeah. blend them, um, it's not as not I as don't know what you. the blending process does where all the vitamins is just like, see ya. <laughs> Well, it's like when you fry it. something or when you grill something, it's like, you know, some foods uh, become so. a lot less healthy when yeah, you grill yeah. or I fry them. Like the problem I find with a lot of these, like, you know, health benefits kind of things is that like how much research has actually gone into it? Cause I swear to God, you know, sometimes I'll see like a, a video or an article being like, I recommend this diet or I recommend these kinds of foods. And then someone will come out and say, actually that's not as effective as this kind of thing. And then you get to the point where you're like, actually this is bad for your body, you know? And, and you just like, I get to a point where I'm like, I don't even know what the fucking trust? No, my, my favorites are the ones where like these like food researchers like try to kind of create a co- uh, create a, like a middle ground of being like, all right, we get you guys want to eat French fries, so we're gonna release an article. I remember I saw this fucking the article. five French fry yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like Harvard professors recommend five French fries a day. It's like ain't nobody <laughs> eating five fries. I mean, a day. listen, you can eat shit food, but I think the general consensus is, hey, just eat less. Yeah. eat the amount of calories your body needs, yeah. and generally eat. Uh, Grains or not grains, sorry, um, like whole grains or like veg or yeah. you know yeah. stuff that are high that are good for you. Just, like, like you can eat the bad things, just eat the things that are good for you yeah. too. Don't yeah. just like, drink balance. fucking Dr Pepper yeah. and nuggets. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you know, do you know what the biggest fucking lie I think is that I'm gonna just say out of gut feeling? Come on. Nine out of ten doctors recommend this oh. product. And I'm like, where, where, where are the ten doctors? No, who, my, no, my other who question is, ask, who is asking the ten doctors here? No, my other question is, who's the one doctor that yeah, didn't yeah, recommend yeah. it? Yeah. Like, well, no, no, like, nah. well, no, because obviously, if they say ten out of ten doctors recommend this, everyone's gonna be like bullshit. And then you say nine out of ten, like, well, okay, well, even nine bullshit. out of ten, I'm kind of like bullshit. Nine out of ten doctors that are on our payroll that we pay to do the research <laughs> for this product uh, recommend our product. By the way, yeah, well, I don't think it's working anymore. That's why they're like these YouTube recommend our products. <laughs> Nine, Nine out of 10 yeah. YouTubers recommend this yeah. product. <laughs> yeah, cause like, I, I, this is gonna be total bullshit because like, you know, you know, the whole fucking, why do Japanese people age better? Mm. I don't I don't know if we, anyone really knows. Is, I don't even think been, the Japanese know. It's just like, we're guessing that it's diet, you know, it might just be genetics. It might, it might could be fucking anything. I don't fucking yeah, know. Yeah, I really don't um, know. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, I don't know how much actual, study or research has gone into this, or if it's just like, you know, if it's like a scientifically backed study that has been like approved by a lot of scientists, or is, it just, like, I mean, just or is it just like one independent study to be like- Just be healthier. Just, <laughs> yeah. general just try better, have better just genetics. Try better, yeah. 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 Problem is though, like you want to apply a lot of these things to your life, but you only get one fucking chance. If you fuck up, you read the wrong article, you're fucked. You get, <laughs> there's so many articles that's like 10 years later, they look back and it's like, yeah, that was actually very bad. Oh my yeah, God. yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. right? There's, I, I, I remember vividly when I was in school, um, like like there was this like article in, in Australia or maybe the world, I don't know. But I remember in school, there was this article, which was just like, oh, scientists have concluded that uh, boiled eggs are actually bad for you. 
And it was just this entire article about that. People were like, well, fuck, I got to cook eggs in a different way. <laughs> Literally two weeks later, it was just like, actually they're good for you. <laughs> so it's just like, what do you want? Like, do you want to steep them or? Yeah. yeah. They used to have smokes with fiberglass filter. And that was oh, supposed yeah, to be British. the healthier. Yeah, oh, the, yeah. the British with the asbestos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They, they used to sell menthol cigarettes with asbestos lining, which is, <laughs> <laughs> which, which, okay, okay. Which is fucked. But hear me out, hear me out. That's the life speed right If you survive that and you live till 80, you just built fucking beef. Yeah, they need to do research on you. It's like yeah. he smoked as asbestos all his life and he's still somehow alive. Yeah, I'm not stressing too much about it. I'll, I'll just let my, I'll let nature run its course. I'll is there like a, is there like an age you want to get to? Like, like, like a goal age where you're like, it, you know, it'd be pretty cool if I could I just don't want to be taken care of. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah much. Pretty I'm, much. I'm the same, yeah. So whatever it's age that like, is, just figure it out. Living like the last 30 years, like. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. I just want to have like an off switch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know. Well, that's. You, okay. I, I don't know what it's called, but yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, want a, you want a gay man, okay. <laughs> That's yeah. the, that's the, I'm not uh, gonna go that game, my guys. Come on. <laughs> you should. <laughs> I think the game is called it SD. <laughs> but uh, Mike you know, just did it. In, yeah. in in the perfect world, uh, I would just like you know, I would just like to have to a point where my body just stops working, <laughs> and then it just like shuts down. That's a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. You're describing a uh, stroke, a heart attack, yeah. uh, a bunch of other diseases can do this too. Would oh, you, you know. would you ever want to get to the point though, like uh, we've all watched Futurama, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, in like Futurama, they the have heads. like all the heads. Would you ever want to get to that point? No. Sounds how good that. the new Apple Vision Pro is on. <laughs> 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 Fuck it, I don't know. Well, I mean, they got to get rid of this thing. Right? Yeah. How can you jack off? Just, you don't have, you have, have to, you, you won't, won't have, have the urge. There'll yeah. never be an urge yeah. to jack off. That sucks. <laughs> You're, I you're, live day to day with the knowledge of knowing that I'm gonna have a great session of jacking off. Okay, there's, there's a know? few things. I'll be like, I'll be like it's about uh, the small as a head, I'll be like, Siri, play the video where the guy goes, Banes, <laughs> and I'll just watch it. I'm like, the, 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 <laughs> on loop forever. <laughs> it's, and, and like, you wouldn't be able to enjoy a meal like ever again. But imagine just, how much editing you get, get, can get done. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I should like, like Muna, do that. Imagine the video games and anime you could get through. <laughs> As a head, as a sentient head. <laughs> Mudon's like enjoying a meal. Nah, editing the new trash taste special in my mind. With my okay. eyes. <laughs> okay, now I'm, now I'm getting excited. Oh Has ever, you ever felt like, man, I got a problem. I like editing too much. That was like seven years ago. I accepted it now. Oh. I'm, like, I'm at like oh. second step. <laughs> what's, what's the second step? I don't know, acceptance. Oh, it's like, First, that's the not, final step. Wait, you have to like do something about oh, it. Yeah, it's good then. Yeah. No, 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 no there's, there's more steps where you, no, you no, overcome no, I'm it. I'm good, I'm here. I'm okay. good. <laughs> okay. he's, he's achieved his goal. All right, yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> What'd you like to do in your downtime? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> please tell me you have downtime. Please, 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 please tell me you have downtime. Let and, me rephrase uh, the question for, for Gaunt. Do you have downtime? <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, how much do you want? I don't know, what do, you, what do you like to do when you're like, I don't have anything to do urgently, I can kind of get to it or whatever, or well, that's why when I you're on for... holiday. I mean, I assume you're on holiday right now, right? He's, been Bro, he's, he's editing he's this been video working. in his mind as it's being filmed, Matt. The first two days here, I was in the office trying to get the new uh, episode out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're so uh, sorry. No, but I, I pretty much picked up streaming just for that reason, so I could mm. do new stuff. So like half their hobbies I do through streams. So it's like combination. <laughs> Of things. Right. So you you are, you're the same as Connor, where you're like you yeah. you find streaming is like it's fun, time. man. It's fun. Yeah. I really like it. It's fun having an audience to like just do dumb shit with. Fair enough. <laughs> just test ideas. I don't think God and I are in that camp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Mudan, please take a holiday. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> we're telling you, you to take a force holiday. You are telling you to take a. I'm not an employee. Holiday. I'm a freelancer. <laughs> <laughs> you have no control over my health. <laughs> I'm eating vitamins, damn it. <laughs> right, I need to take a quick piss break. All right. All right. All right. Do something funny for the Patreon now. 
No, this episode is sponsored by Gamersops. Gamersops is launching a brand new product. It's called Gamer Tea. Gamer Tea, finally, something that my British taste can handle, guys. Let's check this out. Inside this box, there are four different types of tea, from Ooh. black, ginger turmeric, sleepy time, and yerba mata. Each box comes with 15 tea bags. Bags should be added to hot water like you normally would to make hot tea. Each box is $15. And on the 13th of October, Gamersops is launching Waifu Cup Season 5.5 Royal Tea. With the purchase of a 5.5 royalty waifu cup, you can get one free box of your choice of gamer tea. Damn. Look, I've been trying to say that just because you're a gamer doesn't mean you need to drown yourself in energy drinks and all <laughs> that. Let's bring out the tea, baby. This is for those classy gamers who yeah. like suffering over the course of multiple hours and need a drink that can just last the entire day. What tea do you want, Connor? What's, what's your tea of choice? Um, do you want, um, you want some? Ultimately, I'm a basic bitch. I want some black tea. Get some ginger turmeric in you. What the fuck? Why? I'll, I'll take the black tea. Thank you very well, much. Thank you. <laughs> Tea. Give me that. I need some uh, sleepy time. This will help me get to sleep. And as always, you can use code trash taste at checkout to get yourself a little discount as well. So become a real gamer today and use our link and use code trash taste, guys. Mm. Become a real gamer, drink some tea, get some Britain in you guys. Like a good old Brexit geezer. <laughs> get the shit, get the Back to the episode. <laughs> so like a few weeks ago, uh, me and Rudan were hanging out. Yeah. And, and I just kind of remember this. Wait, and, is this uh, still Patreon or? No, no, this is, I guess this is the episode okay. now. Uh, we, we, <laughs> I, I can't wait for Connor to tell the story. <laughs> uh, so we were hanging out and we had a, like a night where we were dressed up a bit. Mm. Uh, we were taking some photos. Uh, and then as soon as like that part of the night's over, Moonan's like, go on, is part of the night over? And I'm like, yeah, great. I want to rip this shirt. And I'm like, Moonan, why? And he's like, I want to- <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Oh, the $300 gone. Whoa. Oh, shit. I didn't realize how far back I went. Oh, oh, you, <laughs> you broke our fucking set more than Ladybeard did. I guess I did, huh? How did you do more damage than all of the earthquakes we've had over the past couple of years? Yeah, I brought some more gifts. Yeah. Okay, what so other gifts did you bring? Well, I know there's a classic Japanese delicacy oh, no. that you haven't really uh, shown off much. Oh. Why would you bring this? We have shown this off. <laughs> have you? I think we've shown this off on an episode one time. You know, call me degenerate. I actually kind of like I this. I don't like this. Yeah, that's really good. Get the fuck out. I actually kind of like these. It's called Maru. And what is this, Cherry? Tell us, tell the audience what it is. Uh, this is um, Maru, which is basically uh, Japanese sake in a, in a cup? glass cup. How much would this cost? It's about 110 yen. So it's like the cheapest 80, sake. 80 you cents get. for yeah. 200 milliliters so of I think hard alcohol. That's I think pog. every country- <laughs> That's pog. What's pog about it? It's shit. It's so cheap. And it's every, sake, it's every, Japanese. Every country <laughs> has an equivalent of shit that's like super cheap that you only drink when you're like really, really young. Are we campaign? Do I have to? Camp I already took a sip. Oh my oh, God. Uh, yeah. Oh God. Oh, newbie. Oh. No, newbie. Camp Jesus, guys. Camp Camp Bro, I'm jet lagged as fuck. Gonna, I don't, gonna, don't, gonna like, to I don't like sake. Well, people loved your drunk episode, so. Yeah, well, I don't think I'm gonna get drunk today. Not with this shit. Hey, I, got it. I need some nice, nice alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, oh. Mudan? What? <laughs> what? Mudan? What? <laughs> Why did you down that? Well, is it, I mean, Mudan was the smart Why are you so unhinged? Mudan is it not a shot glass? No. no. <laughs> okay, rule number one. Okay, I'm gonna tell the audience <laughs> this, especially Americans. Did you okay? shot that? Yeah. Why? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say- It's 200 milliliters. I'm gonna say this on camera, okay? Americans, sake is not meant to be shotted. You no, are not, not supposed to shot you sake. It. It's a it. sippy drink. <laughs> Moonan, you're not supposed to shot sake. It's a sippy drink. Why is it in such a small bottle then? This is 200 milliliters. What do you mean? This is a lot of sake. It's just a big shot cup. Oh, <laughs> you could say that about any you vessel. You say that about this. <laughs> no, he's, he, he contemplated <laughs> shotting it. <laughs> I can see the I can see the cogs turning. I'm gonna shout this water. Dare me again. This, this is what happens when you have an, an Estonian on. <laughs> it's not bad. Shit. It's actually not bad. He, he just doesn't like sake. Mm. Same with this guy. I don't like this kind of sake. Oh Christ! It's like lighter fluid. What? That's really nice. But what this is how you treat your guests when they bring gifts? <laughs> A gift. You brought me the dollar store. <laughs> what do they? Uh, what do they drink in Estonia normally? I guess vodka, beer. <laughs> Fucking hell, crazy. Yeah, I guess vodka like that's back. one thing I wanted to ask because like I've been Aki and I have been wanting to like uh, go to Estonia just <sighs> because we know someone in Estonia now. 
Um, what What's it like? Like, cause I think before meeting you, I knew nothing of Estonia. Didn't even know Estonia existed. <laughs> I know Estonia is like high tech. Is it high tech? It is pretty high tech. Oh, really? We have like, uh, you can do why more did you live in online. a Why did you live in a log cabin then? <laughs> do you, th <laughs> can you choose where you're born or where you live in the no, first no, years? No, I'm just are, like, are, you like, are you like, why are you poor? Is that what you said? Like, I didn't mean to like- Why are you poor, Renan? <laughs> Damn, why do you live wait, in a forest? Wait, hold up, you live in a log cabin? <laughs> well, yeah, my mom had a log cabin like outside the city, like oh, owned. Okay. Wait, yeah, yeah. it was a house. <laughs> it made out of logs. <laughs> like when Sorry. you say log cabin, you just usually mean like a resort or something, but it's it's a house. Right, right, Okay, right. okay. And you, you lived there growing up or? Yeah. And you had a good internet there? No. <laughs> That's why I'm, like everything that I pretty much do in life to advance is because of trash taste. Right, I right. moved to the city to have better internet, to download your insane like files, <laughs> upgraded my PC, like changed uh, routers, everything. Wow. Well, you're welcome first of all. <laughs> <laughs> now you can game at fast speed. That's Sorry. true. Really. When did you realize you really liked editing? Cause like, you, you said you got into YouTube to do like just content and shit, mm. but now you, I feel like you're definitely just like, you are the only editor I know. This can sound bad. You're the only editor I know that actually enjoys the process editing. of editing <laughs> as opposed to like, I like editing, but I hate 90% of it, but I like the final products and the fun mm. parts of editing. But you genuinely seem to like every single aspect of editing. Yeah, what's your secret to like liking editing? <laughs> I don't think there's a secret, but- yeah, Well, yeah. apparently there is because a lot of YouTube editors are just like, oh God. Well, I think, I think while, I, you know? not, not to um, put my own uh, kind of thoughts on this. I think some, some people think that like editing is a, is a way to get into YouTube mm. sometimes. And it's yeah. kind of like- Like they're in it for the wrong reasons? Well, I, I think some people wanna be YouTubers no, and they it's think- It's a means that, to an end. Yeah, I think mm, some people, yeah. it's a way to get their foot in the door. And right. sometimes it actually is, but I think sometimes that- Cause can now that YouTube burnout. is so mainstream, people know that you can make money from it. So they wanna do it. But like editing is art. Like mm. why do people like drawing? Why do people like, uh, I don't know, making video games? Mm. It's just creation. And for me, it's the same. It's not just editing, you know, I like uh, filming and stuff as well. I'm just the best at editing. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's just making art, I guess. Mm. Okay, so it's That's just fair. it's just making content. Shit, I yeah. know my, my videos are art. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Thanks, Moonon. <laughs> Trash uh, taste is a work of art, guys. <laughs> yeah. Painted Moonon by Moonon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next to Mozart. <laughs> oh, fucking. Connor, Connor in like the fucking museum being like, and this is my ninth crane grain. <laughs> <laughs> my finest work if I do say so myself. This is a, a, an excellent piece. <laughs> Derivative of my previous work, but still art nonetheless. <laughs> oh my God. Jeez. Oh, so. Oh. I was gonna say something, I totally forgot. <sighs> it's the sake Drink just more like sake. hacked my mind already. Oh no, I, I prefer a beer. <laughs> Yeah. I gotta ask, uh, do you lose brain cells when you, this probably should, I don't know if I should say it. Do you lose brain cells when you edit our sponsored segments? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I gotta ask. The sponsors <laughs> don't watch the main episode. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's fine, it's fine. Sponsors are very basic, I'd say. Uh, they, I, I don't spend that much time on them. And okay. like by now I already know like every, everything. Cause in the beginning, yeah. I, I would say sponsors are one of the hardest credits because yeah. those are actual job. Like you need to mm. go through the document to see what mm. has to be included, what not. And you need to so, go through like 20 minutes of outtakes of us trying to say what. Oh, the, I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm convinced and like the the depths of my mind that Mudan has this this file on his PC that is all of my like me cursing mid sponsor ad reads. Well, I used to have, then you were like, oh Mudan, can we do Patreon bloopers? I'm like, ah, oh, damn, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I can't collect anymore. <laughs> Sometimes I'll do this ad read and I'll get halfway through. I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Cause I can't say the word or something. Yeah. I just have like a mental breakdown <laughs> and only he's ever gonna see it. Oh, those are the good ones. Those are the good ones, yeah. Really good yeah. Ones, yeah. I just it see like a long pause in the waveform, like, and then one word in the middle and then long pause. I'm like, all right, what's, <laughs> what's happening there? Sometimes that happens. I'll be, I'll open a sponsor or something. I'll open to do something. I'm gonna record it and I'm like, wait, I don't have the right stuff to do this. And yes. I'll sit there looking on my PC for five minutes. And I realize that it's just like blank. It's just been rolling which the whole is time. me looking like this. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what, the fuck is this? what the fuck is this? Okay, moving on. Is it true you edit at four times speed? Uh, I go through the videos, mostly two times. Depends on the videos. Right. But yeah, like this podcast can be done four times the speed. <laughs> well, actually no, physically- You make it sound so easy, well, but- no, physically it can, because four times the speed, like you lose audio in Premiere for some reason. So right. Uh, right now I do at three. 
<laughs> You're being held back by the machine. Yeah. 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 Um, Your brain's like, I can handle four. The computer's well, like, it's, I it's, cannot. I used to, when I used to do a lot of my own audio editing um, for voiceover, mm. I, I could, I'd gotten to the point where I could recognize words from the mm. waveform because I'd always say them the same Oh, same here. Yeah, right, so I could right. recognize exactly where the words were. And I think uh, you said something the same thing one time as well. You were like, yeah. you recognized- Your fucks. My fucks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess, cause I, I, it's the same exact waveform. Yeah. Fuck. Let's see if you see it in the edit. Um, uh, there was also something, uh, you, you, <laughs> you said to me one time, you were like, I think I'm, you, even though we're friends, you were like, I think I'm parasocial with you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. Cause like I- <laughs> I get so much of your content. Like yeah. Connor every single day, trash taste like mo a lot of times in the week. I watch more trash taste than normal viewer. Cause I go through <laughs> multiple times. Yeah, yeah. Like I manage so much and I'm like, it, it's so hard. Cause I, I, I feel like I'm here or like, <laughs> I don't understand how this works. Cause we're technically friends. We talk like outside of like yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. But also I feel like I know more about you and I can never like position myself there. Right. Cause I know sometimes Joey's been like, oh yeah, yeah, we should like catch up. Like, let's have a call. I'm like, no, I, I know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, we don't need to talk. <laughs> I don't need to, I already know everything. <laughs> I've already talked to you in my mind. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be you honest. have nothing to say to me. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest, I actually feel the exact same way when I see like these boys' content when yeah. they're like doing something else. It, it feels, Weird. I don't know. Like mm. I remember watching your video with Anthony Padilla, and I'm just like, this was weird. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm like, I, I don't know. It was, it was like super weird just seeing you go through like this interview and yeah. I was uh, watching that video, and I was just like, I already know this. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, it's hard when I do interviews now because I'm like, how? Because it's obviously the interviews appeal to my audience, mm, right? Yeah. But then it's also you're trying to make it so that. Uh, Anthony or whoever's audience is also aware. But yeah, then yeah. In my head, I'm like, man, I just, it's impossible to give anything any more to yeah. people who know me. Yeah. So I already t say everything. I mean, that's yeah. what happens when we have what, like we have 100, 100 hours of us just- We're, we're nearly at 200 show. episodes. Like yeah. I can't possibly do an interview that will be in, like interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Unique, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's, so like anyone who watched the Anthony video, you're like, you just get in the, the rehash. Yeah. yeah. You just get in like the, the breakdown. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess, yeah, but I hope- But, but also sometimes I feel like, I don't know, it's maybe dirty is the wrong word, but it just feels wrong. Because I, I, well, we know each other. We, we know each other. Yeah. And if, if there's a part of that video where you haven't mentioned to me, I'm like, I should have asked him about that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll just be like, why did you hide this from us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why do I not I think know, I hate anything. I should know yeah. everything? I think Muna knows literally everything about me. Yeah. It is like, yeah. Well, he, like I think Muna knows everything about us. Yeah. Like, Pretty much. Because I think, cause, yeah, we have trash taste and then you have all of my main and second channels. You know literally everything I do in my life. I know, that's, everything. That's, that's not the thing that I feel like, I feel like the real thing is seeing the, like the footage that goes in between like the yeah. highlights oh, yeah. and yeah. everything that's cut. You see us, you see us at our you best see us on, and our worst yeah, you see when, us we're, when we're on up. and when we're off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's the biggest thing where I realized that, you know, Mudan sees everything that we film on the specials uh, that he chooses not to put in the video, which yeah. uh, is, is a lot. There's I mean, a lot of footage. There, out there have been a lot of videos that I filmed and I have left that day being like, holy shit, I did awful. I right. was just not funny. I, didn't, yeah. I wasn't there. And then Mudan sends me the edit and I'm like, okay, it's okay. And then I add voiceover and I watch it. And I'm like, huh. Maybe I seems, am funny. It seems like I, I had a lot of fun. But I distinctly remember I didn't have fun doing this. Um, <laughs> to be time. real, like all your off moments are still pretty good. Like. I've edited for some people who are you literally it here, doing it for content and they're like, yeah, so we're gonna, go, we're gonna do this. And then when it cuts, it's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> What's the script again? <laughs> fuck, I hate this so much. <laughs> like literally 180 and I'm like, whoa, that's awful. Yeah, I think yeah, that, yeah. honestly that's, that's shooting in Japan. Cause I think uh, when the cameras turn off in Japan, especially if you're doing stuff um, in, on a location with other people, especially mm. Japanese people, yeah. you, you it's so bizarre because there's always this level of like professionalism that you have to maintain. Yeah. And I noticed that like, uh, if I behave too differently to camera and then when the camera cuts and the energy changes, I, I feel sometimes they get confused. Mm. They're like, they don't understand what, like what I'm doing right, because yeah. they don't understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if I'm talking in English and my energy is totally different, I think sometimes people are like, 
Yeah. Uh, it's this weird vibe I got. And so I, I try to always like keep, when I go in there, I'm giving them the same energy that throughout. And I don't know why I, I subconsciously do this, but mm. yeah, I just, I, something I just kind of picked up doing. I, I got a lot when like filming with Japanese people. Um, I, I get like a thing a lot where people are like, wow, you're like exactly the same off camera. And I'm like, well, I, are you not? Like, what, what are you doing? That's like so different. Cause like I've had so many, I'm obviously not going to name the shows, but like, a few Japanese shows I went on, it was like, it was, as you said, it was like a full 180 with some people where it's like, when they're on camera, it, they're just like the most like fucking Guy Fieri ass, like yeah. most extravagant, like loud and like personality <laughs> type thing. The moment like someone's like, all right, cut. They're just like, <laughs> bring me my latte. You know, like it's it's like yeah. that level. Bro, I wish we had someone to bring lattes. <laughs> oh, that's called Uber Eats. Yeah. yeah, the Uber Eats guy does do it. Yeah, he yeah. does it. Comes in clutch. That one guy who definitely, definitely knows who we are. He was <laughs> delivering our Uber Eats. Thank you for keeping it a secret. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's so many YouTubers who are like completely 180. Mm -hmm. Cause who even edits it for? So you guys, we're What's real. It? We're real. <laughs> You for should some be reason, more these guys parasocial with us. <laughs> You'll be happy to know no, we're exactly be the same. More parasocial. <laughs> we are everything you see on camera is us 100. percent We are not <laughs> bullshitting anything. God, uh, I hate that you're true. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was like, I really want to have the window. But I just, I just yeah, at the window. At the window. <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's right. right. <laughs> Actually, he's right. Fact, he's a real one. We he's fact, a real one. I, <laughs> He's telling the truth. Well, because I, I had I had this distinct thing and I, I, I had this um when I was doing like the Sebastian stuff, I had this 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 fear that people would think I wasn't smart. <laughs> and I don't know why. All I was right. scared that people would think I was dumb. And so I would never ever try to say anything yeah. that was even remotely fact checkable or anything right, like that. Yeah. I would just keep it just, mm. and I would limit where I would appear. Mm. Cause I was like, man, I just don't want to talk about me because mm. yeah. I know I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> Uh, and if I talk and open my mouth and I rant for 10 minutes, I'm going to say something stupid. Wow, trash taste really changed. You yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then after a while I was like, man, it's exhausting. Like having to like be careful about what I'm saying yeah. all the time. Like, like keeping the act up, right? Well, you're kind of playing almost like a character. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, uh, That's how we get the best clips. What, me just saying dumb shit? Yeah. No, I know that now. Yeah. Like I know that like it's more entertaining when I'm just, just just being me. It's the whole reason why, you know, that's the secret to trash taste. Well, yeah, and then, and then I realized yeah. I was like, oh my God, I can, I can, I also enjoy being on camera more. I also enjoy making content more. Mm. I, I think the, the videos are better off for it when I just embrace the fact that I'm sometimes just, I just do dumb stuff and mm. I say dumb things. Yeah. I think that's okay. I'll just and I think that it. works for the show as well, because like, you know, a lot of yeah. people will watch that and be like, you know, cause like that's something you would experience in your day to day life with your friends. Right, like, mm. sure, you'll have that like one super smart dude who's always right about everything. But most of the time, people are dumb as fuck, and they just make shit up, and that's what's funny. Yeah, black black paint, bro. It's just oh, heavier, isn't it? Black paint. Yeah. <laughs> Until you start talking about physics and stuff, then it's <laughs> <laughs> no, no. My favorite is the politics, the politics, the um, philosophy. Even oh, that he invented. Would you say he Socrates invented? So he invented <laughs> Socrates philosophy. Socrates invented philosophy. Yeah, that was my favorite. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, not, my favorite one is the not um, my proudest I, moment. I, I said that uh, Pokemon was the most googled thing in 1996. Or something. Oh yeah, and it was just. Google wasn't made. In Google, wasn't <laughs> made. <laughs> Google wasn't invented. It was two thousand actually. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I just I just want a montage of like trash taste explains stuff really fucking badly, <laughs> like like me explaining the logarithmic scale or whatever. Oh my god, that was the one. <laughs> was there, has there ever been a video that any of us have done? Uh, where you thought, what a fucking dumb idea when we, you like got the video, mm. and then you edited it, and it turned out like, huh? You can be honest. This is like. <laughs> I mean, there's so many, there's so many. I can say it out loud now, finally. Yeah, so, finally. I don't think there has been. Like, really? You just do like normal stuff. Like even if it's like very basic, it can still be edited to be a good video. Mm. Cause like the, the base content around it is pretty decent. Mm -hmm. So like, even if you do like the most basic things in Japan, mm. it's like fine. Yeah, yeah. What about the dick museum? You know, like the- No, that was great. Oh, that was fun. I wish I could have used it's more It's kind of shit though. Cause like, yeah. Oh, everything needs to be censored. Actually, we can't show anything. <laughs> I, I sent him a message being like, so yeah, I went to this thing and I really want to include it in the YouTube video, Fuck. but you need to mosaic everything but me. Like, like <laughs> one third of the video was just dicks everywhere. On screen it's all, all the dicks. time. Yeah, it's uh -huh. all dicks. And then he, I, I cut it out initially, or like Danny did. And uh, then he was like, no, can I, you have I like, some of it in yeah, the video? I was, like, include, <laughs> I was like, you gotta include some of it. This is wild. And then <laughs> to actually show it, it was just, 
him and Kaho's face unblurred, everything else was censored. <laughs> Literally the entire frame. Well, that's like me when I went hentai shopping, right? Yeah. yeah. It was like, it's it like, was, I got to one floor and I'm just like, Moonan, you have to sense like, like fucking why, everything. Why even do this? <laughs> because I think it's fun to see the, the, just the sheer amount of shit that needs to be blurred. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of gives you a, a good perspective of like, oh wow, yeah, there is, is just bad. dicks yeah. everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. What, what, do, what do you place. think of the modern TikTok style editing or like, you know, the very fast paced, very mm. like you, uh, you would literally need to grab your attention every microsecond. Uh, I like it, but I don't like shorts. Okay. okay. I, it's why, weird. Why I, okay, so I like, the Mr. Beast, the new Mr. Beast style editing, where he actually tells a story, he like hits yeah. the emotional beats, not yeah. just like, oh, TikTok after TikTok in 10 minute like compilation. Mm. But I don't like shorts themselves that are like 60 seconds. Cause I don't know, they're just annoying to edit a bit, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, okay, specific shorts are fine. If you, like Connor films a specific uh, video yeah. just for shorts, that's great. Cause that's like a 60 second video, mm. like specifically made for it, that's fine. But if it's like a highlights video that needs to be compile too short. Oh. That's like, <laughs> that's what I make you do. Um, <laughs> but it's so bizarre. Cause sometimes I, I, I don't understand what people want to watch and why YouTube pushes. People something. don't understand what they want like, to watch. I, I still disagree with shorts being a thing. Sorry? Cause <laughs> I, I disagree with shorts being a thing. I, Cause like you can get views from shorts. Yeah. You can, will get subscribers, yeah. Yeah. but you will not get, it will not translate into long-term like views. It doesn't translate to an audience. Yeah. 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 I mean, totally. if it, if the discussion is up in the air right now. I'm like on the fence about it, mm. but I think like, if you want to make your short successful, you need to make it with making shorts in mind. You can't, yeah. it's, it's, it's never like, I know there's like a million fucking podcast clip that gets like repackaged to shorts, but I don't Do you mean think- trash taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you know what we're I missing? mean, it's honestly- fucking it's Subway Surfer at the bottom. That's it is, it is, I find it from my personal experience because I get recommended trash taste clips all the time. So yeah. obviously I'm looking at it all the time. Yeah. yeah. I find it way easier to watch the shorts than the clips. Yeah. And I, I will admit that. I think it's just a better format for, for short form clips. Well, that's why yeah. every podcast now is doing shorts, right? Because I think they just figured that out. It's an easier way of digesting yeah. uh, digesting podcast. I guess it's like uh, some sort of a banner marketing. Cause like uh, when you have like these banners pop up on uh, YouTube, mm. it doesn't want you actually click on it. It just wants you to recognize the name like Coca-Cola. You're not gonna click on it. You're gonna be like, oh, Coca-Cola. Maybe I'll have it later. And right. that's the same with shorts. It'll be like, oh, I've seen him a couple times. Like, well, you're gonna- Yeah, that's what I think. It. Yeah, that's yeah, what I think. Right, it's right. more about just, I, just I, I think that like getting- Just getting eyes on it. Yeah. Well, yeah, because then people are gonna keep, if they keep seeing you mm. as, a, as a creator or something, that's like the most important thing because yeah. a lot of the time, they just need to recognize that, that you're someone that, oh, maybe I should watch this guy. Yeah, they'll be like, who's this guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. I keep seeing this guy everywhere. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, Cause you know, a lot of the times, a lot of YouTubers rely on sponsors and sponsors want people uh, or influencers uh, with recognizable faces or brands, right? Mm -hmm. And so having that kind of awareness just, it's not necessarily about does the view translate to revenue or growth in any capacity. It's more like, yeah. okay, you just need to become more your face needs to be out there more. Right. Yeah. yeah I don't know. I, I, it's a like, weird, weird, weird it's, it's, age. It's, it's, a, it's a weird world now where, you know, it's becoming more and more like, I guess, old media and uh, old, like just marketing tactics, you know? That's pretty much just brand recognition, just getting your face out there. Get as the much kids as smoking possible. Camel and Marlboro <laughs> cigarettes. We're bringing back the asbestos cigarettes, guys. <laughs> Turns out it's actually good for you. Uh, I should do a short where I just try every cigarette and just see if they actually taste different. Is it true that- <laughs> <laughs> Not sponsored, but sponsored by the Marlboro company. <laughs> is it true that Coke actually used to have cocaine in it? Or yeah. is that yeah. like yeah. a common yeah. legend? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, it used to have cocaine in it. Dude, I wish I could be born Bro, in the we had in the, in the, in the, like, I think it was the fifties or sixties, I don't know which date it was, with the asbestos thing. Yeah. That, was, that was after Coke, <laughs> it was in Coke. We thought to put asbestos in cigarettes. Cause Coke was a normal thing back in the day. Like people would have it like, oh, you're, you're like sick? Yeah, have some cocaine. It was like an ointment. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And then people the would fuck? get like yeah. addicted to we it. We were born in the wrong era. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, you, you act like you're that. you telling me I could get coke? God. God. I legally, I, that was a joke. Are you telling me I could get coke on the cheap? <laughs> well, okay, well, true, true. First of all, must've been lit in the 20s. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Second of all, it's not that hard to believe because I mean, look at what's happened in America with the opioid crisis yeah, right now. Sure. It's obvious that we haven't learned any lessons that we're still gonna prescribe and give out stuff mm, yeah. regardless of what effect. It, we we had the evidence now to know that it would cause us and we still did it. Mm. Why? I don't fucking know. Well, we, we, we know because people will big continue pharma, to do it. Well, big pharma money. Uh, yeah. Big pharma money is powerful in America. Like this is this is like- Real <laughs> shit. Let's turn into a Joe Rogan. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm gonna, like, the frogs are gay. No, no, I, I Joe Rogan wouldn't like be talking about big 
farmer. He's talking about which drug would taste best anally or something. You know what I mean? Like, I feel, I feel like this is the first okay. conversation people have before like you, you fast forward 10 years and like you're flat earthers now. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is, is where it all went wrong. This is the conversation that starts here. Like you can't oh, trust any dude, media. Actually, dude, I, have, I will oh. fact check everything. <laughs> I, I'm going to tell a story because there's no shot this guy listens to this podcast. Okay. And I'll never okay. find out who this is. Um, I go to this gym a lot and there's a coffee shop that I like to go to all the mm -hmm. time on the way back. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I go there and I've seen this guy who looks like 50 or 60 years old. I've seen him there maybe six or seven times now I, when I go in the morning, sure. only in the early morning. Uh, and I've never spoken to him. Um, and so this time he came up to me and he spoke to me uh, and uh, he goes, hey man, uh, you live in Japan? I was like, yeah, man, yeah I, just, I live uh, not too far from here. Uh, and uh, he's like, oh, cool, cool, where are you from? I was like, from Wales. He's like, Wales, nice place. Uh, I used to live in China, but I live in Japan now. I was like, oh, cool, cool. I was like, um, where are you from? It was California. Mm. I was like, oh, I go to California all the time. I like it, it's great. He's like, well, it's not as good as it used to be. And I was like, oh, okay, what do you mean by that? Yeah. He's like, well, you know, the liberals kind of took over and changed it. I was like, fuck. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. What do you, what That's do you, the moment where your brain just instantly shuts off. I was like, doo -doo -doo -doo. and I was like, I was like, okay, well, okay, sure, man. Well, yeah, well, I mean, he's like, yeah, well, I used to live in China, but you know, the experiments with the bats and all that, I just didn't want to be there anymore. Oh, and I was like, God. I was like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. And he's like, and then he, I don't know how this even, it wasn't even prompted. He just goes, oh yeah, you know, I just, I just think that, uh, I just think that the president right now, by the way, I voted for Obama. He said that uh, <laughs> as like a, as a way to like, d can, I, bear in mind this whole time, I've just been nodding. Yeah. That's like the equivalent of, I have a black friend by the way. <laughs> but Yeah, and he's like, he's like, I just think, I just think right now, I just think that Trump will get it done. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And like, I don't, I don't fucking care what your political leaning else. Just don't do this to people. Why are yeah. you opening up Especially with this? Especially when it's unprompted. Yeah, I didn't know? ask, I didn't yeah. ask, I don't care. Yeah. I do not care, I did not ask. <laughs> I am wait, I'm literally just praying that my coffee will be ready in a moment so I can leave. Uh, and of course, I, when I get my coffee, he won't let me leave. He's oh, just talking course. to me. I was like, man, I-, I Wait, So who'd you vote for? I just started <laughs> to stop him and be like, and then yeah, he goes on about Brexit and stuff. And I was like, oh, God, he's hitting all the greatest hits. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, leave me alone. I want to go. Yeah. But um, why, why, why did I bring this up again? Um, I just wanted to tell a story. Yeah, I think this is just cause I met like a crazy person, not a crazy person, but <laughs> yeah. one of those people. Uh, I guess, wait, what were the fuck were we saying before we this? We were talking about uh, health benefits. No, we were, that's way far back. No, we're talking about like old media coming back. Uh, no, 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 we were talking about- Bro, we have, I, the fucking... dementia risk is kicking in. Bro. I have the 1%. Can I take a piss? <laughs> sure. Yeah, right yeah, now, yeah, yeah sure. Piss. While no. I try and figure out what the fuck we were talking no, about. We were talking about, fuck. Why did I bring this up? I had a good oh, reason. We were talking I had about a reason. shorts. And then we were talking about, fuck, Mudan, bring up the footage. Mudan, bring it up, Mudan, bring it up. <laughs> oh shit, he's over there. Um, there was a reason why. Flat earthers. That's it, flat earthers. Dude, it's like, you'll, you, you will just come across people no matter where you are in the world and they will seem totally chill. And you let, you let them talk to you for five minutes and you'll just realize the only thing that's changed is that people who, who we used to consider like kind of out there are, yeah. are, like, are so good at being normal and just waiting for the opportunity to say this. They're good at just oh waiting. God. Like they know, they, I, okay, not just, I don't, I don't, I don't refer to them as crazy people. I don't, cause I think yeah, that's yeah. unfair and that's that's not, that doesn't yeah. help situation when you call them crazy, but like people with alternative beliefs mm. are very good now at knowing and they, they try to suss out people who they think will like not reciprocate. What, and and I think they, because I I think I, I attract these people because um, every Uber ride I will I will never stop them from talking because I just I am so fascinated yeah, I to hear oh, I yeah, love yeah. hearing every what they time say. I get in an Uber with you I've never seen the Uber driver be that chatty well because I'll prompt them and they're not and they're not talking to me because I got my headphones <laughs> well because I prompt them like we had that guy in Florida one time <laughs> I was about to say the Florida guy yeah, this, it was this uh, of course it was a Florida guy yeah, it was. but it was a Ukrainian guy uh, who was in Florida. I was saying how I, I, I attract, I'm, I'm, I can suss out when people are gonna say these weird stuff and I always yeah. let them talk because I always wanna hear what they're gonna say. Mm. Yeah. Because I think that like to understand how these people work, I need to like understand like where they're coming from. And yeah. so I'm always just kind of like, yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. I just say stuff like that and then just kind of prod them and yeah, keep telling yeah. them. Uh, and this, yeah, like well, a guy in Florida who is- <laughs> He was insane. <laughs> he, yeah, he, <laughs> bro, he'd been, he'd been, he'd been, uh, he'd been, Watching a lot of news, uh, he'd been uh, having strong opinions about yeah. Trump. Watching a lot of Fox. Yeah, a lot of Fox yeah. opinions. Very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. I mean, I mean, sometimes you talk to someone and, like, I, 
Have you ever had a point where you've talked to someone and you know it's kind of like you hear a line and you're like, oh yeah, I know immediately. What, and you're when? like, you definitely, you definitely heard this from a podcast or something. This you've your- definitely been on Reddit a bit too. <laughs> <long>. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because they they generally people who with these types of beliefs will say one line mm-hmm. that is very like uh, um, non-committal mm-hmm. to their opinion, mm-hmm. and yeah. they'll see how you react to it. But I, it's so easy to suss out when they're doing this. Like I voted for Obama by the Well, well, like when he said like, well, then when he said like, uh, like California's not as good as it used to be. Yeah. Like yeah. that's just such a like subtle way of like trying to suss out where you stand that's, on that's it. When, yeah. That's when you hear the Vsauce music, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and I'll be like, like, he's about to go off about something. I'll be like, oh man, how so? Yeah. And then, I, and then he'll say this crazy thing. Oh, I guess I say crazy. <laughs> to me, I mean, some of it is just insane. Yeah. But sometimes they'll say something and I'm like, man, yeah, I guess I got something to think about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go home like fuck. Never talking to that guy again. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, like I, I think I had the, like the exact same moment at a party I was at, like when I was when I was in America, uh, in the Midwest, by the way. <laughs> That's oh, like, bro, oh, speaks for itself. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you know, I was I was at this uh, random, I was at this random party uh, that you know had a bunch of like you know it's you know when you're at a party and you get invited because. A guy knows a guy, and uh, you know you, you're invited there, but you don't really know anyone there. So my least favorite kind of parties. So you know I was there because some of uh, some of like uh, Cindy's brother's old friends were there, but mm-hmm. you know it was kind of like a fucking massive party, you know, right. so they didn't know everyone there. Uh, so I was just kind of like sussing out the vibe of some people, and the thing about America, I've I've under- I've like noticed is that. You go to a party and sometimes you do not know what kind of like the vibe or the people you're surrounded with mm. are gonna be like, you know? Mm. Um, and so, you know, you, I was talking, I was talking to this random guy and I can't remember, we got on the topic of like relationships uh, just cause I mentioned I was married and stuff like that. And he was like, oh, how, how's that going? You, are you happily married? I'm like, yeah. And I just asked, are you like in a relationship or anything like that? And he's like, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saving myself. And so I was like, oh, so I, I assumed it must be like a religious thing, right? Right. right. And then uh, he, <laughs> I was like, it's, it, and this was the line where he was like, no, I've been, uh, I've been waiting for a virgin because you know, I think that uh, was he an idol fan? No, no, I, I think that just virgins are the way to go. I think once you lose your virginity, the women just become lower value. And I'm like, this is this is a fucking Andrew Tate listener. Like, I, I, it was the. How first, do you respond to that? Uh, I, 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 yeah, how do I respond? I was like, oh, cool. Uh, good this luck. Is, this is the exact kind of person I'd love to talk to. I would love. I would love to be like just. Just tell me more about it. What do you think about that? Yeah. You know, some people might say that that's a that's a bigoted way of looking at it. What do you, what do you think about that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, because like I, you know, talking to the guy, he's exactly the type of guy. He was like as much of like a typical frat boy as you could like imagine, like oh, kind of like mm-hmm. that kind of like image. Uh, it was just the first time that I'd so obviously met someone who had been influenced by, let's say the podcasting era of things yeah. where uh-huh. <laughs> where you you hear verbatim a line that you've heard on some random TikTok that has been recommended for you. You know, you know, because yeah. a lot of these guys are just, they're just like, hey, my life's not going the way I wanted it to. This yeah, guy just yeah. told me that it's all women's fault. And then I guess that that's how we're going to yeah, live my life just, and believe that's that. That's just my belief now. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Was it like in Estonia? Huh? Was it fun in Estonia making friends, talking to people, the crazy no, people? We don't talk to anybody. It's nice. like the north road you go up there, the less people uh, talk to you. Yeah. Like if you're in America, people talk to you on a bus in uh, like Northern Europe, uh, you'll get sh- shanked. <laughs> I, I, it's like, hi there. Like, <laughs> like don't talk to random people. It's yeah. weird. Like they'll instantly think you're like crazy or something. Yeah, that does happen. And I think yeah. that's a very British as well. Do not just approach people in public. Yeah. That is yeah. just a big no-no. Yeah, for do, sure. Do you think the average trash taste listener, instead of like quoting some very opinionated political opinion, just just starts quoting like shitty food takes? Is that I how mean, you tell like a trash taste? It happens. <laughs> <laughs> they'll just be at a party. I've been and they'll be like, guy. actually I hate crossing all pizza, by the way. <laughs> and then they're like, oh God, <laughs> which podcast did you hear that from? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I've been to AX, people randomly come up like, oh, hey, Muran, and they just randomly start talking about the food takes. Yeah. <laughs> like, Wait, right. what do they say to you? I oh, know, I like, oh, I like uh, the boneless chicken or I like bone in or stuff like that. It's like, I didn't ask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's, that's great for you. Yeah. Sick, bro. <laughs> oh, you don't like bread as well? All right, sick. 
No, you, you only eat bread and pasta and rice. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't care. I eat everything. He eats you vitamins. You That's just said you eats. just eat rice and yeah. just pasta. No, that was like, like fucking seven years ago. Oh, what are you now? Everything. You like everything? Like, what's, what's your favorite? Cyanide? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I guess I've uh, become more like you, where it's like uh, Uber Eats is cheaper uh, mm. to be more productive. It's like making food. The amount it takes, like uh, you go to the store, you buy it, then you, you make see, it. See, I'm not lazy. Mm -hmm. Well, Japan is so cheap. No wonder you fucking yeah. get everything. I, I, I try to tell people this, dude. When I when you Uber Eats in America, right? It's ridiculous. Yeah. You, you you will order lunch. It'll be like $15. By the time you get it, you've paid $35 yeah. somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking shipping here, 50 cents to have like Uber Eats here. Yeah, you, <laughs> and then often the restaurants don't mark up. So a lot of the times you'll just pay the normal amount. Mm. I have no idea who's making money. And just I, the Someone's overall, losing money in this thing. The overall food here is like half the price as in Europe yeah. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, most of my Uber Eats meals come to around $10, which is what I would pay if I went out and just like yeah, got it anyway. Exactly. So for me, it's like, it, it, I mean, it sounds lazy and I, I absolutely is, but I love it. And the fact that I can pay $10 and get a meal delivered to my door that it's good and, yeah. and healthy and great quality is like, this is fucked. The UK could never. Yeah. UK absolutely could I mean, never. Most countries could never. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm very lazy. <laughs> yes, and I mean Japan's always been cheaper to eat out anyway. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I you know that that image of like the soldiers holding up the world and there's like a mum and a kid. Mm -hmm. There's literally the Uber Eats delivery drivers in Japan. They are holding up Japan <laughs> right now. They are, they are holding up this economy. Uh, dead ass. No, it's like them and like I heard there's like a uh, shortage of like Japanese bus drivers or something now. I don't know if this is. Yeah, true. there's a route in Chiba that used to run 60 times a day and now it's yeah. down to seven. You have buses. But, yeah, we have buses. Yes. But there's also like also taxi drivers uh, in Kyoto have gone down, I think 25% this year mm. and they need more. Damn. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a, but they've started hiring, some taxi firms started hiring foreign taxi drivers. Oh really? Oh. Yeah. I'm just gonna say it, all right? I don't think, I don't think that the, the this quality uh, of Japanese taxi driver is that good that only Japanese taxi drivers can do the job. Oh, of course. It's not like in London where they're trained to like, they have to learn every single street. Mm. In Japan, you're like, hey, can I go here? And he's like, what is Tokyo Station? Well, like, half oof. the time they're just like, oh, okay, I don't know where that is. They so type I'm gonna it use the GPS. All of them use the GPS. And also I would prefer them to use the GPS because a lot of the times when they, I think 50, uh, like, I don't know, not 50%, like, uh, there's a good chance if they go by memory that they fuck it up. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, can you, I always ask them to use the GPS. Mm. Uh, Cause I'm like, just please, please go here. Please. Yeah, I always just tell them put in this address. Yeah, so I yeah. feel like yeah, there's no there's no need for them to be gatekeepy about it. Just let the, let the, yeah. let, the, let, let, the let the, let Steve from Wisconsin drive the cabs. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. What's What's been in your favorite thing about Japan so far? Favorite thing here? Yeah. Like, how's your experience been here? I'm this not, is your first time. Damn, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, you only know about it from trash taste, apparently. So. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I was not expecting the weather, but it's hot. But other than that, you really oversold the convenience. Like for the what? first four days, I was so disappointed in what? convenience. Why? What? I don't know. I was Bro, expecting something the, like the magical, what the fuck like are you doing everything. About? They do do everything. What? what? Do, name one thing they don't do. Uh, Gluten-free food. Oh come on! That's <laughs> what do you what do you want them to do? It's Japan just country. It's yeah. right. No, no, no. I'm I'm coming around to them. Like now, I start to like them again. You just I feel like you just hype them up so much. They are they so are good. Hyped, yeah. Well, how are the convenience stores in Estonia? I don't know. It, it feels the same. Like oh, you go to a gas station, you get like uh, fresh food that's like uh, hot, yeah. and you have everything you need. Just we don't have this in either of any of our countries. Well, yeah. Thailand maybe. Yeah. Do, uh, do you not have a yeah. circle cake? What the fuck is a Circle All right. K? Never mind. I know Circle K, but we, we don't have it. Yeah. It's getting better in our countries, I think. Mm. But uh, UK is definitely getting better. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, UK, the food quality in the UK is definitely going up. Oh my God, from being from when I was a kid, it's gone up so much. I, it's, mm. it's so weird now. Every time I go back to the UK and I'm like, I'm excited to go to restaurants and eat. And before <laughs> I was just like, my God, every Google review is just lying to me. Greg's, Greg's, Greg's. <laughs> oh, Greg's, Greg's is good. Do you have Greg's in the UK? Uh, never. Fuck, you have, a, you have a meal deal though, right? I don't know. No, you had a meal deal from Tesco. Have I? Yeah, you told me you had one. Did I? I, I maybe lied. What the fuck? <laughs> I, maybe I, haven't lied. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you get the sandwich and you get a bag of crisps and you get a drink from oh, Tesco. Oh, then no. What maybe you talked to somebody else. No, you said you did. Oh, you looked me in the eye and you went. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> We're gonna have the window <laughs> off. Correction, what <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Rude, I, I have no idea that. what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've had a Tesco's meal deal. All right, next time we're in the UK, we uh, have you at least had a Nando's, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah he was all right, all right. You were there when he had Nando's. 
<laughs> God damn it. The dimension is really kicking no, in. No, no, we've, ha- we've had Nando's. I- I'm pretty sure yeah, we have. <laughs> yeah, we had it. Like, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. this year. Yeah, we did. Not this year. I yes, we I did. I this year. We went, I distinctly remember because we went to the restaurant and you no. said, wow, are the chicken thighs really that no, no, calorific? No, no. Two of us. <laughs> Oh. Uh, like with emulandritis, not with Garmin. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. I, I was okay. like, are you gaslighting me? Uh, we were there. <laughs> no, I'm being ghastly. I'm like, wait, I, have I hadn't done Okay, Here's the problem. I've had Nando so many times in my last trip to the UK that I literally can't remember everyone yeah. I've been to Nando's Every with. second meal was a Nando's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucked up that the spicier the sauce, the more calories it has. I feel I feel like this fucked up. Is that true? Yeah. That's what? The Nando's, the, the more up. spicy the sauce, the more calories it has. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. Maybe because they have to compensate to make more flavor. Mm. Is chilies that much calories? No, but I think they're adding other stuff to like help because obviously- mm, Like I, thickeners? Yeah, I think that normal hot sauce is just too like one noted. So you have to I add mean, a the, lot of other the stuff. The super spicy like sauce is kind of the consistency of Elmer's glue. Like- It's goaded, I it's, love that it's shit. It's pretty insane. Fuck, I miss Nando's already. Biscuits as fuck. How do you feel Nando's compared to Australian Nando's? Have you been to Australian Nando's? Yeah, once. And then it went out of business because it was shit. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the same thing happen in Canada as well. Yeah. Okay, well, sorry, what's the- f- your favorite thing in Japan so far? You didn't answer. Uh, not the combi. You said combinis clearly. weren't your favorite thing. Yeah, it's wh- fine. Um, You're dead to me, but it's fine. No, I said I'm coming around to them. I like them now. Okay, I'm what's the, what's the one thing that actually lived up to the hype in Japan? Is there anything? <laughs> uh, the, the aesthetic, like everything. I, I would say just coming to Japan, everything is as like anime or aesthetic as you expect. It's like the vibe, right? It is. The vibe is correct. <laughs> the vibe is correct. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the vibe check. Because <laughs> I was here, I was like, yeah, I could see myself living here. It's like really nice. Yeah. Like the yeah. weather is nice, the people are nice. You think they'd be like, oh, no, Gaijin, no, no, no. But everybody's been like really nice, even if they can't speak, they like mm. try and like, I haven't been rejected once. It's yeah. really cool. Well, you haven't, I don't think you've been to like the, the old like mom and pop shops. Oh, right? okay. Like, those yeah. are the, pl- those are usually the places where they're just like, oh, no foreigners. But like a standard restaurant now, it's like, they're not gonna deny you just cause you're a foreigner nowadays. I mean, like. Pete took me out for like a premiere too, uh, for like a night out at, with at bars, mm-hmm. and all the bars were just so great. Yeah, the bars yeah. are fantastic. The bars are the one yeah. thing that do not disappoint in Japan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was literally like everything you'd expect. Yeah, totally. Yeah, honestly, like I every time I go to a bar in Japan, it it makes the rest of the world just feels so much more disappointing <laughs> in terms of like the vibe. It's yeah. always a good. Night. It's just crazy, like the quality, the cost. Yeah. Hey, yeah. like, yeah, ah, yeah. oh, fuck. Yeah. And just like so the amount good. of choice there is. He's the guy is just goaded, bro. And, and bars, <laughs> just uh-huh. like, it's great. The little yeah. snacks they give you, I love little snacks. Yeah, hell yeah. Mm. You know, like, you know, obviously I have to like, <laughs> as a British, I have to say, of course we have like compa- comparing weather spoons to some of the, oh, the shit fucking pubs with the boys. Oh, the fucking pubs, let's go. But <laughs> yeah, Japanese bars are absolutely fucking goaded. Mm-hmm. I do like pubs though, but they feel different in my mind. Like yeah, a bar I, is I where put I, them in two different bar, Like the yeah. bars in Japan is where I go yeah. to like, I'm like, man, let's, let's just like deep talk. Let's mm. get, I'll have the counter, the music, the nice cocktails Crack with the guy. The guy spends like 15 <laughs> hours making it. Yeah. And he puts like the ice cubes that have been like finely crafted with the Damascus steel blade yeah. and, and the ice from Hokkaido for some reason. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, okay, cool. He's like, it's a gin tonic. <laughs> it's also $15. But he spent $15, mate. Yeah. Uh, no, it's like, no, actually, no, that's like, uh, they're like, like 10, 10 bucks, yeah. like 10 bucks. Yeah, 10 bucks. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. yeah, I think it was. Yeah, roughly. Unless uh, it's like yeah, a high-end bar, know. but. You're talking about European prices. Dude, European cocktail prices are next level. Yeah. You think America's expensive. European cocktails are like 15 pounds for a cocktail, which the is like fuck? $20. Right. You treated me out to like cocktails and we're like, oh, when you come to Estonia, I'll pay you back. But it's like three times as much to pay you. Well, I, I, well I told him, I was like, he wasn't to pay it. I was like, no, no, don't, I'm, I'm paying. And then I was like, just, just pay for me when I come to Estonia. And he was like, no, <laughs> no, <that's, laughs> Estonia is more expensive. I was like, ah, oh, well, the yen's really weak right now. Yeah. So. Do, you know, do you know the biggest discrepancy I've noticed between, you know, the meme, which is just like thing, thing in Japan. Yeah. yeah. It's like, <laughs> get recommended like any like TikTok or YouTube short where it's just like, I've, very, very expensive product from a very specialist guy that's been honing their craft. Uh, and if it's like a Western person doing it, half the comments are like, it's fucking expensive. Why, <laughs> why, why the fuck would I, why, who cares if it's handmade or not? Yeah. But in Japan- like Tanaka Yoshimi spent <laughs> 60 yeah. years crafting this table. <laughs> and all the comments are just like, oh my God, that's dedication. Bro. Such a master to the craft. Oh, dedication. I'm at- Thank you, Sensei. I remember I saw this like, I remember I saw this uh, short about, 
I think it was like a Japanese craftsman who had made like the calligraphy mm. brushes and he like makes it by hand. Oh yes, I've seen that. And yeah. I'm like, it was ridiculously expensive. And he goes like, basically- He, he puts in the individual hair hairs, by right? hair. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I'm just like, I mean, I get it, but- <laughs> It's a bit much, isn't it? It's, it's like, hair by hair. I mean, I get, I, I admire the dedication, but would I pay a grand for it? Yeah, yeah. Not sure. You know, when you're young and you just like drink anything just because it serves the purpose of mm. getting you drunk. Mm. And the most important thing was how efficiently, how cost effective could you get drunk? The vodka Red Bulls. The vodka Red Bulls. Oh man. You should eat the one chip. Okay, no, don't do this. <laughs> no, you, I will you, die. No, you would. Yeah, you would actually. <laughs> you, they've removed it for health concerns. Yeah, because we still have died. it. Yeah, look, we still we have it for some reason. It's like a kid died. Yeah. Someone died from it. Was fucked. I had it. And I I can handle spice, but that was fucked. No, I had uh, two of my editors who are like help with a stream eat it. Uh, both of them puked, and the day was ruined. Oh, my day was ruined after it too. It was it was very painful. <laughs> yeah, good. Um, but I guess my stomach's used to it now. I my had to used to it now. I think so, yeah. Does it want to be used to it? Uh, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> I, I had a bunch of hot sauces that expired today, this mm. morning, so I had to pour them all out because I had to clean the bottles to recycle the bottles. Mm. Uh -huh. And so I, I was getting rid of all the hot sauce and it made the air spicy because I was emptying all the bottles <laughs> and I was breathing and it was it was making my throat itch. Oh shit. Everywhere in my house, it was fucked. God damn. So uh, be careful. <laughs> yeah, That's it, fun story. So I, I think uh, my mom, so I went back home this time and every time I go home now, I've noticed my mom makes like, I, I there was a point in my childhood where I was in awe at how spicy my mom could eat like spicy food. Mm. And then I got to a point where I started liking spicy food. And I think I've progressively liked more and more spicy food as I go, as I go older. Mm. Um, so every time I come home now, I've noticed she always makes it a little bit more spicy. Like gear spicy. Just, just, just a little bit more spicy, like limit testing me. Yeah. And uh, same thing with Sydney. And every time she, uh, every time she feeds us food now, every time we like just cough a little bit, she's like, oh, it's too spicy. It's too spicy. <laughs> it's a little bit too spicy. Some, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it hits your throat the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It could be fine, but you just, you know what I mean? Like, come on. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Dude, but the hot ones ruin me. You, like, you, you did the hot ones one time, yeah, right? Yeah, because I used to oh, really? have like, uh, take just normal Tabasco sauce and that was my limit. Mm -hmm. But then I did hot ones. Uh, well, I cried a couple of times, but afterwards I, Tabasco is just so simple. It yeah, is. yeah, Tabasco yeah. is just a little like, little, ooh. Yeah, I, yeah, I used to think the same. Like when I used to handle like no spice, I was like, oh, Tabasco is too spicy. But then I had like several levels above and now I fucking love Tabasco and everything. Mm. What level did you get when you got Nando's? That's, that's, that's yeah. like- Medium or high? You got herb. Got no, the you sauce got with later on. You got garlic and herb. <laughs> the sauce but later on. That was- uh, Oh, medium. oh, oh, yeah, me, later on, but you chose garlic and herb initially. Yeah. I remember because I was disappointed in you. <laughs> but I put the sauce on later no, on. I'm, tried kidding, it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, because you can't handle spicy food. I, I remember now. Yeah, you can't handle yeah. spicy food at all. Yeah. I remember we, we went to Chipotle in America and you oh, were like, you were up. like, how can you eat this? I was like, also, it, no, it has jalapenos in it. Bro. Not yeah. just what do you because mean? of that. They also gave you like a kilogram. <laughs> yeah, the burrito was one kilo. It's like what I eat in two days. <laughs> That's messed up. It's like 1500 calories. You cannot fit it in your mouth. All you right, literally right. can't. Well, yeah, you bite edges, you are bomb, bomb, bomb. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is the true test to see if you have bit truly become parasocial listening to too much trash taste. What's your opinion of America? When you went for LA, or like you've been I've, a few times now, right? Oh, to preface, I've only been to LA, uh, <laughs> downtown LA to be specific. <laughs> it's the only place in America you've been, right? Yes, uh, okay. two times by now. Okay. Uh, it's bad. It's <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, obviously downtown LA is bad. Yeah, yeah. I think even every, everyone in LA will be like, downtown is awful. Yeah, <laughs> a third world country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I mean, that's, yeah, that's fair enough. I mean. We don't cut that. <laughs> don't cut that movie, leave it in. <laughs> but uh, yeah, cause you've been to like, you normally go for AX every year, right? Yeah, I try to. Mm. I, cause, I, cause I, I can't remember, what was the first AX you went to? Cause that was definitely before you started working for us. Yeah, it was- It must have been before, yeah, it was def definitely before COVID, right? 2018, I think, yeah. or 2019. Something like that. Oh, that's was, where I was met it the you and Sydney for the first time. Where you, helped Connor film a video or something like yeah, that. Where he went to a date with a fan. Oh Which yeah, is really oh my God. Now. Yeah, I did do that. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, you did too. <laughs> yeah, because a, a fan asked to have a date. It wasn't really a date. It was just film. But yeah, yeah. yeah a fan asked to have a date, and I thought, well, fuck it. Let's see how it goes then. <laughs> Can I record it? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like a real date, but it was fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, was a, it was a funny video. Yeah. I remember that, yeah, because we stayed at uh, my, my previous editor's house, and it was it was, it was was rough. What's, what's your favorite country you have visited then? Ooh, that's hard. I would say maybe Amsterdam. Cause that's really nice. Like the whole city is so well, walkable. That's city, but all right. <laughs> no, well, yeah, the entire place is really yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? I, he, I he, asked he, country, he said country. country. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, <laughs> well, I haven't. Is Australia a walkable city? No, it is walkable. But it's like when I went from uh, LA to Amsterdam, that was such a huge difference. Like Boy, we would walk yeah. for like an hour on foot, and it was like nothing. It was like, oh, that's so nice. <laughs> you just describe. You just describe. Walk, no, you just describe walkable. Cities. There's no homeless people <laughs> fighting the area up there. <laughs> Nobody threatening. Yeah, there's a reason guns. why LA is not a walkable city. You know. <laughs> no, even out of Europe, I, I would say it's one of the better ones. Maybe, mm -hmm. like if you're not in the very center. Because I've been to yeah most of them. Like I, I don't see what what the hate about Paris is. I like I Paris. Do. Really, really. Well, I've lived in Paris. Okay, oh, you well, you what the fuck? Why did you live in Paris? Uh, I worked there for like two summers. What, doing what? Uh, Disneyland. Wait, oh what? yeah, you, you did tell me this. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking you Disneyland. You worked at Disneyland yeah. in Paris Yeah. and you ended up not hating the city? No, I'm, I, I'm very surprised. I lived in a ghetto, like outside of, uh, on the outskirts of Paris. Right. And I, Disneyland is like even further out. It's like- It's yeah, very it, far It's out like of Paris. Paris, but it's like Canada to Tokyo. Ah, uh, no, 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 Naruto. Naruto, Naruto. Naruto. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like uh, Disneyland is fun like, and uh, Paris itself, because if you go as a tourist, it can be cool. Also, I knew how to speak French. So I went everywhere. Can you still speak French? Uh, I can like enough. Oh, wow. But not perfectly. Okay. So like uh, I went to everywhere, like trying to speak French. But if you start out in English, then you're not gonna have a good time. Yeah, I, th I think that's a big difference. You know, just yeah, gotta if, show if, that you're not English. That's the yeah, first yeah. step. <laughs> <laughs> if they get through that, then you're. I mean, like, I think that's pretty why I, I didn't like it as much. I'm yeah. like, man, everyone <laughs> fucking sucks here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that that is the big parasite. If you even speak a little bit of English, uh, Damn, so you, yeah, you've had a crazy life, huh? Paris, uh, yeah. and then obviously before you did, uh, you were editing. You did a um, soft core. Uh, porn is in the chess piece, obviously. Um, yeah, this is my favorite what? story you've ever told me. What? You have to tell Gant this story. <laughs> we're, we're, Connor, far, we're, Connor far, we're far enough in the episode now where it's fine. Uh, yeah, right, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. so uh, at the beginning I was picking up every job like that I could, because I, yeah. I, it was so hard to do anything as an editor. Like yeah. I, I would say I'm like the second wave of editors where pretty much editing for YouTubers didn't exist back then. Oh, so yeah, it was yeah. like really hard to find one. And I was using this site called Upwork which was like a decent back then, Upwork, but yeah. now it's really shit because uh, you have to pay for every review you send in. Back then I used oh. to send in like 60 reviews every single day or something like that. Uh, and one of the jobs I got was like, oh, uh, do you want to edit vlogs? And I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, and I started editing it. I'm like, yeah, that's a bit, um, <laughs> that, this is a bit weird. <laughs> and uh, I guess I edited it well enough that he, uh, he was like, mm, well, do you want to do more stuff? And I was like, okay. Well, what okay. was this initial vlog? What was? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I can't remember. It was something about um, pleasuring women. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I, I was kind of picking up like, all right. Uh, was a guy talking about it? Yeah, like how to pleasure women or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but but I think there was a bit more vloggish type thing. Right. Hey guys, I'm gonna pleasure a woman. <laughs> like follow my ways day. to pleasure <laughs> women. Like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so th then he was like, okay, do you wanna edit more? Like more raunchier stuff? I'm like, all right, you know, sure. Whatever pays the bills, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And yeah, just softcore porn, isn't it? <laughs> is what is softcore porn? Like, so what does it involve? Like, like just no like, penetration. Like kissing? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, he had a niche. Okay. Of course you have a niche, which is a uh, Yoni massage, okay. which is a uh, pussy massage. <laughs> so he okay. would he would be like expertise. Like cats, right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like yeah, uh, cat massage, yeah. It would be him doing it for around two to three hours. What? No. <laughs> okay, two, uh, it would go up to five, I think. No. And uh, actually it was a nice precursor to trash taste. Cause it would <laughs> <laughs> now there are three pussies on the screen. Cause he, he had uh, like four to five cameras set up. Okay. And uh, Garnt, you say you're a perfectionist. Yeah. But he was an actual perfectionist. Oh, okay. It my. would be like two to three hour video, like end result, yeah. where it had to be like the cuts had to be frame perfect. 
It would, oh. if it would be like one frame off, it would be like on me. Like I had to change it. Right. And uh, every Friday we, we were getting calls uh, that would last like four to six hours of just <sighs> trying going through the edits. Like, oh, the intro, that's like not that good. Or I have to change oh that, that God. little part. Wow. And every single cut had to be frame perfect. There's like, um, when I started, it was like two way fours of uh, information, how to cut it. Like in the beginning, it would be like YouTubers do now, which would be like fast paced, like intro. Yeah. That was yeah. like seven years ago at this point. Yeah. And then it would be like a music video section. <laughs> Of a, what? Of a, like getting into it, undressing, like what the some heck? stuff. And then it would be like slowly getting into the main section of like actually doing it, which was, um, there was also rules behind it. Like uh, in the beginning, it would be cuts like every 10 sec uh, seconds. If you're like half an hour in, it could be like up to 30 seconds a cut. It can't be over 30 seconds. Oh and the God. cut has to be at the apex of the movement. Uh, the apex of the movement. <laughs> Why is he talking like a movie director? Like? It was it was actually that intense. Jesus. But yeah, it lasted for like two years. Did he pay well? Uh, okay. Uh, right. And then he was like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm paying you too much. I'm gonna replace you with two cheap uh, people instead. Uh, and uh, you and know, that's when we gave you the call for trash taste, yeah. right? No. Okay. So I used to like I I like to go back and like check on like previous employers, like how they're doing. Yeah. For the next year, he posted nothing. And right. then approached me and was like, all right, I'm gonna offer you double the price you paid. And so I'm like- those two editors weren't that good. And I'm like- Was he making a lot of money from this? Well, or I assume it? so. Wow. Cause it's porn. <laughs> and yeah, I was I, like- I don't, I don't know how much money's in there. I was like, uh, no, I wanna get paid three times as much. Cause I'm like, no. Yeah. And he was like, no. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then you went back, you got back in it? Yeah. Oh, but, wait, how many years ago was this? Uh, originally like five years ago, I ate it for oh, two wow. years. Then it was like uh, a break of one year. Right. And then for another two years. And it was even more intense because at the end I, I gave up. I was like, okay, I can't do it. I'm quitting. Cause it was so intense. Like uh, the work sessions was so huge. It was literally yeah. like uh, 20 hours a week. That was half, Jesus. that was a part-time job next to like six YouTubers who I also edited for. Wait, were you doing this while you were editing for me? Yeah. <laughs> and Connor. <laughs> wow. Wow, I didn't so, know this. And uh, I think, yeah, when I quit, uh, I, I gave in like my two months notice, yeah. yeah, which I figured out, I found out you don't have to give two months notice. Yeah, you can just leave. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. that. <laughs> I was like, I, I don't want to be a dick, like leaving me. Well, I mean, it's, it's yeah. polite to give me. Yeah, it's polite, yeah. But usually it's one month notice. Yeah, so, a lot yeah, of, a lot it's, of it's contracts are one month. Yeah, so yeah. we started writing up like what to give to the next person. Like they, they had to do the same thing because to get every like video done, it wasn't just the main video. It was also like different websites, different timestamps, different every. So it was kind of like gaming the system because yeah. yeah. the thumbnails in those sites were auto generated based on what it picks up at those time, like seconds, like yeah, yeah, frames. Yeah, yeah. But he had a system <clears throat> where he knew if the video was with this long, it would generate these frames. Right, right. So like for every website, it had to be a different length video. And so he planned out like where exactly yeah. the frames would be. Oh yeah. my God. And it was like four different Google Sheets to actually get like one video done. And when we tried to get like new people in to like replace me, I think the end result for the Google Docs on how you edit a video was 40 pages. <laughs> how do you write 40 pages? It was so intense. That's why I wanted to finish. Cause it wasn't uh, fun. It wasn't editing. It was literal job. Like you had to do everything I'm sure he perfectly. Wanted to as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was four years. And even at the end of four years, I still felt like I couldn't do it. Like mm. how he wanted to. Yeah. Like I was you still- You weren't perfect enough for him. Yeah, I was so imperfect. It was so annoying to me as well. Cause so, I like couldn't So do how it. many hours of this cat massaging did you have to sit through? Like in total? Yeah. Like per oh, session of like- You must be so desensitized well, Yeah, you must be so desensitized to it. I think at the end it was my 500, I don't know. <laughs> Christ. That's so funny. <laughs> Holy oh shit. my Lord. And now he's on trash day. So. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it was a bit sketchy because uh, it was a huge chunk of revenue. Mm -hmm. But when you were like trash taste, I was like, okay, this is a good chance. Like uh, move past. <laughs> to move past. <laughs> and and maybe get some I, could use, I could use all my skills correctly. Yeah. Maybe get some free time, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. But that was the last thing that also like really burned me out. Mm. Yeah. Like in terms of editing. Well, you get burned out. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you this question. How do you avoid burnout in your, in your, uh, like the way you think, the way you do things. I don't, I, it's either I- I just don't. <laughs> like I either got burnt out six years ago yeah. or I don't. 
I don't know where. Do you just not, I just don't get burnout. Do you just not recognize the burnout and you just kind of push through it? Or? I think I'm desensitized to burnout or I just take jobs that like God, don't burn me out. <laughs> Cause like there's so much work that I have to do mm. that anytime I get like tired of one job, I like switch over to, oh, I'm make th thumbnails now. Yeah. Or I'm gonna do clips now. I'm gonna go back to the first job. I'm gonna do like a different different thing. So I guess having like a variation of different jobs is like a good way, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's cause burnout is just suboptimal performance, you know? <laughs> Shit, you're right. It's I gotta start taking my vitamins. Burnout's just like a skill issue at the end of the day. You what know, a crazy, just means you're not managing crazy it correctly. rabbit hole to go down. <laughs> yeah. The moment I feel burnout, I just pop open that medicine box. <laughs> I'm good to go. One, one thing you too. also told me that I just didn't appreciate cause I'm like, man, we're so fortunate enough to do this that you did. Uh, in, in Estonia, you have to do uh, mandatory service as well. Yeah. So you just do like eight months of military time, right? Yeah. Oh, really? After high school, I went into it like straight away. Mm. Cause I didn't want to do it later. Cause if they call you like five years or down the line. When you're you doing shit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it really sucks. So I had to, I went there like uh, voluntarily. Mm. They were yeah. like, no, you're too skinny. Come back in half a year. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 let's do two uh, weeks. <laughs> and they were like, all right, one month. So I went back and thankfully got it because otherwise it would have gone like another year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then I got in. And it what if you were too skinny the entire time? Could they, uh, just, could they just never ask you to serve? Yeah, but I don't oh. think I would have been because before that I had like uh, some sort of a disease that lasted for a month that I couldn't eat. So I lost 10 kilograms in weight. Damn. Okay. Wow. So I was like, yeah, I can easily pack that on. Like get me in two weeks and I'll do it. <laughs> what did you do for those two weeks? Just fucking go to town? I just ate normally. Cause I ate normally. For like a month, I could only eat once a day and it was like one pudding. Oh See, otherwise it would have been too painful. Right. Oh my God. What Jeez. disease is that? I think I had, I'm not sure if it was mono or like, oh. like my- uh, the, the glands? Yeah, that's mono, yeah, right? Yeah. That was like really went insanely huge and got like infected. So I had to take like, not person like insane painkillers that you can take once a day. Mm. And oh. they, even then I could just eat pudding. Otherwise it's like too <laughs> oh much. Jeez. Christ. Is there any part of your life that you can you still think you can optimize or find time? time what's next? Sure. What's next for Mudan? What's, what's next yeah. for Mudan? It's just, well, it's not like huge optimization movements. It's just like slow, like steady. Like <laughs> when you get a new client, you're like, all right, how actually, can I optimize okay, actually, that? I, I, I got asked, what's, what's an average day look like for you? Wake up, uh, see, Around 9 a.m. Nice. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, that's yeah, good, I see that's what uh, you guys have written, like uh, the fires I have to take out. Cause yeah. usually when I wake up in the morning, it's around like noon or nighttime for you. Mm. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh my God, there's like 10 things that popped up. I got to do ads, I got to do that. So the first two or three hours are just doing like urgent stuff. Mm. Yeah. Then I eat, then I do um, either gym or uh, running mm. cardio. And yeah. then I do like the stuff that I had to do that day, like mm. 10, 20 items that I usually put in my to-do list. Yeah. That's uh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. comes- You make it sound easy, That but comes after the gym and everything yeah, like that. Doing 10, 20 things in a day, or I guess more realistically, the second half of the day yeah. is, is quite a bit. Uh, and yeah. the, then it's like 2 a.m. and I go to bed. Do you ever, do you ever get, th cause I like, I've had, you know, weeks when I've been super, super productive and all it takes is like one little slip up to take you off your like mm. schedule and routine and then it, everything like just crumbles. Yep. Do, you, do you ever get that at all? Or? Oh yeah, it does happen. Like after vacations and stuff? No. no? Well, no, you work on vacations. <laughs> <laughs> what, no, every, okay. I, I, I get it. I never fall out of working. The only thing I fall out of is just like taking care of myself. Right, diet right. or gym, sometimes yeah. I'll slack and I'll be like, yeah, okay, I'll slack another day. It's like out of five years or six years of doing this, I think Japan was the first time, like this is the most I've taken off or like mm. away from my uh, home, mm. like ever. This is two weeks. Usually it's like three days oh, really? or three, four days. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I mean, even here, like every day, four or five hours of work, Oh my God. <laughs> please, please get, please have a vacation. Please have a day where you do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. No, day where you I do refuse. Nothing. Just try it. Just Why do you refuse? That sounds awful. I did the white room stream. I didn't feel no, that no, great doing like it. not like that at all. I did that, nothing Buda, for 12 that's hours. That's fucking vacation. You actually doing stuff, Muda. I, I didn't do anything. I took 12 hours off. It wasn't that fun. <laughs> I we don't want a wide room. What do you expect? I took 12 hours off. Here's what happened, guys. <laughs> prisoners it's like, be, it's prisoners actually, be like, actually, I took 36 years off of my life. I, I, saw, I, saw, I saw a fucking screenshot and it was like from TikTok and it was a guy going like, and it was like unemployed people when they have to eat breakfast and play video <laughs> games all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Rudan. No! <laughs> Just try it. 
You can, you can turn it into a YouTube video. If I've you tried want. it. I don't like it. I took a day off. Level impossible. It's horrible. <laughs> no, I get the jitters. I'm like, fuck, I got to edit Matt. <laughs> Fucking give Fair it enough. to me. Fair enough. Where is the timeline? God <laughs> damn it. it. Uh, any advice you might have uh, for uh, editors? Yeah, or future editors? No, like uh, if you don't like it, quit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that's great advice. That is very real that's, advice. that's real that's advice. Just, that's man. just great life advice yeah. in general. Do, do, you, do you like editing or do you want to get lots of YouTube views? Which is it? <laughs> oh, Damn. Tell them, tell them how tell it is. Them. Burn them. But yeah, um, thanks for coming that's on. Just coming I, on, I, finally. I, yeah, finally we got you on after 170 something episodes. Yeah, yeah thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Pleasure. The machine on that- uh, The man, the myth, the legend. The man, the myth, the legend. Is there anything you want to shout out by the way? Uh, no. No, <laughs> no you should go, go check out his. No, go check out his streams. He's a great yeah. streamer. Yeah, all right, is. all right. Go check out his uh, channel. Uh, Mudan on YouTube. I post w once or twice a month, and I just they're great videos. Just, no, they're yeah. great videos. Yeah. Hey, look at all these patrons though. You see look all, at all of them. Oh, 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 he knows. The, the he guests knows. never oh. do like the edges. No. They yeah. always go in the oh. middle. Oh, this guy. Oh, oh. He know in his mind. He knows exactly where the frame is. It's like it ends right there. He always gets looked over. <laughs> this guy right here, Damn. he's a real one. But hey, if you'd like to be pointed at Mudan or a future guest or one of us, then consider joining us on Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on Twitter, send us memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. And of course, go check out Mudan, the goat. We wouldn't be here. 170 something episodes Anime, anime YouTube would probably not be here. <laughs> if not for him. Totally. Um, it's just like all of like Adam at YouTube and like Moonan in like it's fucking- like Atlas just holding <laughs> the globe. In like 2018 or whatever. I can't remember how long it's been. <laughs> Hell yeah. But um, thanks for coming on Moonan and we'll thanks see so you guys next week. Right. Bye. Bye. Janet. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>